26-year-old girl who shared his northwest Salt Lake City home. Salt Lake City police say Alexander Tran was arrested today after officers found him the night before inside the home with a gun. More on these stories at townhall.com. There is something about the road that beckons, that invites us to pack up the family and leave the world behind. And there is something about an industry-leading unlimited mileage warranty on a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz that gives us the freedom to do exactly that. You take to the highway, rack up the miles for up to three years, and drive with the assurance that your Mercedes-Benz is covered. You have the security of being in a car that has been certified to Mercedes-Benz standards, while you enjoy a carefree ownership experience for miles and miles. But, while the mileage is unlimited, your time to take advantage of our certified pre-owned sales event is not. Now through September 30th, you can also receive complimentary prepaid maintenance and your first two months payments on us on select models, plus three months of Sirius XM satellite radio. So hurry into your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer today and see why we say the odometer is there to record the memories. See your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer for complete details and limitations on certified pre-owned warranties. Today is the 30th anniversary of Mexico's most deadly and devastating earthquake. We get more from James Blear's reporting in Mexico. The 8.1 earthquake on September the 19th, 1985, wrecked 100,000 homes, 5,000 schools, 13 hospitals, and more than 300 health centers. Mexico's capital since been rebuilt, adhering to stricter codes, but the city's still heavily populated Centro Historico sits on the soft soil of a former lake bed. Earthquakes of this magnitude tend to come within 50-year cycles. Big ones rocked Mexico City in 1911, 1957, and 1985. The hope and strategy is to be better prepared for the next one because there certainly will be a next time. James Blizz reporting in Mexico City. More news and analysis at townhall.com. I'm Ron DeRockstra. Pope Francis arrived in Cuba this afternoon. Connie Lawn tells us more. The Pope's visit is a major breakthrough for the communist but strongly Catholic country. He will hold a mass for thousands, give communion, and meet with many people. Some sessions will include meetings with the aging Castro brothers. He is expected to discuss religious freedom, human rights, and political freedom. The Pope goes on to America next week. Connie Lawn reporting from Washington. A plane bound for London has been grounded after its wing hit a fence as it was about to take off from New York's Kennedy Airport. Authorities say the incident happened early this morning as Virgin Atlantic Flight 26 was being pushed back from the gate by a... at 1-800-831-0771 for a free consultation. That's 800-831-0771. If you're like me, you're concerned about the stock market and the economy. You're asking the questions, but it just doesn't seem that you're getting the right answers. Well, my friends at the Wealth Preservation Institute not only have the answers, but they've put together a free report, how to survive the upcoming economic collapse and protect your 401ks, IRA savings, and retirement income. Don't hesitate. This report's for free for a limited time by calling 888 7 772-2929. That's 888-772-2929. Take back your financial lives today. Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live. You know... You can call in and talk about what you want here on Free Talk Live. we That's the sort of thing we do here. We allow people to call in and express what's on their mind. But, you know, we also bring in our own show prep. It's it's Mark with you th this evening. 
And I am Taryn P. Lupo, getting a tag along. That's right, Taryn. Thanks for sitting in for Ian, our uh, main host. I guess he's uh, he's taking off. He rarely does sort of yeah. pers- personal stuff, but he is uh, uh, um, he's oh. now sitting in on the he's third gonna, mic. That's My right. Goodness. We're talking he's, about him now, so he has to jump in. It's here. not like he's even wearing clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on. Let me point the webcam at him. If, if any of you guys are just tuning in, we have a webcam you can watch him at. Normally, he doesn't uh, you know go out and do these things, but Ian, you're heading off to a rave this evening. Yeah, at some point. Um, and I had to have my arm twisted into it, but uh, but yeah, taking a little time off. When was the last time you did one of these things? Like a rave? The, the 90s? <laughs> no, actually, I went to one in uh, in May. In May? Oh. Yeah. But you didn't take time off for that? I think I did, actually, yeah. Okay, well, there you go. Wow. All well, right. Well, speaking I've... of raves, there's an interesting news story that's come out of Fortune.com. I guess some of the uh, the presidential candidates have... Uh, They've smoked the marijuanas. No, say yeah. it's not so. Mark. I was watching the debate, and <laughs> it turns out that Jeb Bush says that you know he wishes he hadn't. But back in <laughs> in college, he smoked. He he his mommy wishes he hadn't have done it, but turns out he smoked some marijuana in college. His mom wishes, or he wishes he hadn't done it. Oh, like it certainly, I suspect at this point both of them. <laughs> now, do you think it actually hurts a candidate in this day and age, or helps? Um, I don't think it matters much. You don't At this think point, people will be like, oh man, he's for, you know, he's 420 friendly. I think it depends vote. on the demographics. I mean, if you, uh, if you ask younger people, they're going to say that's no big deal. Some of them might even give a candidate extra credit for having smoked pot, but elderly folk, maybe, uh, it would hurt if uh, they heard about that. I think, I think mostly you're talking about people who, uh, who died off, uh, after the Bob Dole campaign. I mean, at this point, we have had a president that smoked marijuana since 1992. There, you know, every and in many cases, um, you know, you're talking about. I, I'm willing to go ahead and say, I bet you Bill Clinton's done more than than smoke and not inhale. Yeah, um, I bet you're right about you know, that. That's, that's just, just speculation probably. on my part. He looks but like he'd be fun to party with. Since the George... year 2000, we've had presidents that have done hard drugs, and you're it's 2015. For the last 15 years. We've had presidents that have uh, done hard drugs in the Oval Office and, you know, tack on another eight behind that. You're talking about more than my lifetime. I'm yeah. 44 years old. So I I got to say that um, at this point, the moral majority folks have had to put that issue aside. Yeah, I'm always curious how that happens, that uh, when you really press all these anti-drug warriors and you're like, well, you know, the person you voted for did drugs. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> That's that's not convenient to put in there. Yeah, d- didn't George Bush admit to cocaine use? Uh, yes, yeah, in college. He, yeah, I, you know, and he had to admit, admit to it. Otherwise, you're going to get uh, get that coming back at you yeah. at some point. I'm going to rattle off the list here real quick, and your favorite candidates probably on it: uh, Jeb Bush, Vermin Ted, Supreme, Ted Cruz. <laughs> Vermin he would Supreme. never. Vermin Supreme most certainly has done marijuana. <laughs> I suspect Vermin Supreme is tripped, but uh, you know, just saying. <laughs> Ted Cruz, uh, Bernie Sanders has smoked the ganj. Lincoln Chafe, Chafee, um, George Pataki, uh, Rick Santorum. Go ahead and Google Santorum. Santorum. Torum has. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> George, <a> trap. <laughs> George W. Bush. I don't know why they include him on the list here. Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, Al Gore. Um, you know, these some of these guys aren't running. Bruce Babbitt, um, Newt Gingrich, John Kerry, John Edwards, and Howard Dean. So these are the ones that have admitted to uh, these smoking. Are, these the are mar- people who have run for president within the last couple decades. I guess that's why. Why do you is, think yeah. they admitted it? Do you think someone was going to sell them out and they were like, "Okay, I better get ahead ahead of it"? I think that to some extent that's what it is, but I don't. I don't think it's. I think it's so much not an issue at this point that they don't even bother. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at the lineup there. You don't think Donald Trump's ever smoked a little marijuana? I don't. I don't think he's even been asked. I'll bet you he hasn't been asked. I honestly don't think it hurts a candidate anymore. No. Because um, they're either going to be forgiven as, oh, those were youthful, dis, you know. Right. Th- th- that was that was way back in the day. They, they this, would never do it now. At you this know? point, it's just a thing to throw young people in jail for, right? Yeah. This is a, an extra tax because oftentimes there'll be fines if it's just possession or that sort of thing. I mean, it, it, there's states where it's completely legal. It's, things are changing in America, and the presidential candidates – they're leading the way on this one, and rarely do politicians do that. <laughs> politicians on uh, social issues they tend to they tend to follow up the parade. You know, uh, they, they tend to be pretty socially uh, conservative in their own lives. Well, one of the, the questions least. Harry Brown, the former Libertarian Party presidential candidate back in the year 2000 and 1996, used to ask regarding these politicians who have smoked pot is. 
do the people who support prohibition, the people who want to continue to see pot uh, illegal or and these other drugs, do these people think that these politicians would be better off today had they spent some time in jail for their youthful indiscretions, like so many other people do? You know, it's Jeb, a good question. Jeb Bush said he wishes he hadn't done it. Well, how would Jeb Bush be feeling if he had a criminal record uh, today and had never gotten elected as a result of having that criminal record? Uh, you know, I could care less about Jeb Bush, but I want to know about the listeners. If you don't support marijuana being legal, then you basically have one other option, and that option is throwing people in jail. Some people will say, I'd like to see treatment programs, and that's awesome. Jails are full of treatment programs. Um, but in order to get people to go to treatment programs, for instance, I'm familiar with Narcotics Anonymous and Alcoholics Anonymous, and they have one criteria for attendance. One. There is one qualification for membership in this organization, and that's the desire to stop using. So I will speak for at least myself when I've gone to these Narcotics Anonymous meetings, and I'd like to say very much, please stop court ordering people who don't want to stop, don't want to quit drugs to the meeting whose one qualification is a desire to stop using. Mm. Like, there's no reason for them to be there. So if you, the only thing you've got it, with your treatment program is either either you go to their program or you go to jail, son, and. That's a crappy thing to do to the other people in the treatment uh, programs. So really all you've got is incarceration or legalization. There isn't anything in between. But th there's so many functional drug users, though. I mean, there's – I can't – almost everybody I know does some sort of drugs, and they – lead normal, productive lives. They're not, you know, completely out of control. They're not, you know, addicts, I would say, as as far as someone that maybe has a gambling habit, probably is more destructive on their life than them going home and smoking pot or doing coke or whatever. Well, alcohol is a drug too. Yeah, or, or drinking around. And I, not that I have any sort of issue with Alcoholics Anonymous. I think they do some good things. Um, but what I'm saying is, is I really think by uh, telling people, by making it illegal like we're doing, and your choice is, oh, you have to get treatment, you know, court-ordered treatment. Oh, what's my motivation? What if I'm like, no, I don't even need treatment. I just got caught. Right, because most sorry. people, I think that the, the, what you're pointing out there is the difference between a drug user and a drug abuser. And the people who are in favor of prohibition, they lump them all together. Oh, you've used cocaine? You've used marijuana? You must be a drug addict. Well, no, not necessarily. Uh, there are plenty of people in the United States. We even had a guy call in and say he was a heroin weekend user. Yeah. Like, that was a shocker for me. It's uh, a shocker. I don't, you know, good luck to him. I don't think you can maintain that personally. He claimed that's just he's my... been maintaining it for years. That's uh, what his so, claim was. Uh, so you I know... believe his claims. And so the point being that if you've got it under control, if it's just something that you're doing for recreational purposes, it's not ruling your life, you don't have to have it. Uh, then you're just a drug user, you're not an abuser, and that's a c completely separate category. Speaking of abusers, let's talk about Donald Trump calling Carly Fiorina um, ugly, um, as though that's some kind of qualification for being president. I mean, if you want to talk about abusers, it's not my, um, my concern isn't what kind of drugs people have done that are running for president. My concern is their attitude generally. Didn't she, though, have some sort of anti-drug, uh, anti-pot, she may very she well. Made. She may. I'm sure. Yeah. Look, if you're running for a uh, Republican, uh, you basically have to say, well, I did drugs, but I really think your children should go to prison for it. I mean, that's <laughs> all you can say, right? I mean, it's really bad. Well, drugs are bad, kids. And so we're going to put you in, we're going to put you in, pound you in, uh, pound you in the rear end jail, and that'll teach you. So, um, yeah, if you think that it's a good idea that, uh, you know, the people we put in jail for marijuana, please give me a call. I'd be interested. Um, Those people don't exist anymore. Or where yeah, are those when's people? the last time someone's called in? Even though, like, there's a bunch of those people, they never call in, do they? What about Republican candidates? Do you think that this is going to sink anybody's career for having smoked marijuana? 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-free, free talk live. Understanding your credit you guys... score is the first step towards managing and improving it. This is Charlie Sundstrom with your Van Dyke Mortgage Minute. The most influential component of your credit score is your payment history. Almost equally as important is the amount you owe on credit accounts. Also impacting your score, but to a lesser degree, are the length of time you've utilized your credit, the number of new accounts, credit inquiries, and your various types of credit accounts. To help achieve or maintain a healthy credit score, have a system set up to assure your bills are always paid on time. 
Don't max out your cards. It's better to have a high credit limit with a low balance. Never close old accounts. The age of these can actually help your credit score. But don't be afraid to use your credit. You need several accounts in order to have a credit score. Just keep the corresponding payments within your means. For your mortgage pre-approval and refi needs, start by visiting vandykemortgage.com. Corporate NMLS 3035. Van Dyke Mortgage is an equal housing lender. Charlie Sundstrom, NMLS 134251. No! That's the sound your brain makes when you realize you're buying something and forgot the coupon. Online or in a store, knowing that you're missing a deal is the worst. You need the app from Retail Me Not right now. Get thousands of coupons from 50,000 stores like Kohl's, Domino's, Best Buy, and more with crazy deals like 60% off, free shipping, and free gifts with purchase. You can get a text invite to download the Retail Me Not app 100% free right now for Apple or Android. Just text the code UPDATE to 42767. Then just show your phone at checkout to save. It literally couldn't be easier. It's 2015. Keep your coupon bonds in your phone. Stop what you're doing and text UPDATE to 42767. Listeners will get a text with a link to download it 100% free. Never forget another coupon again. Text the code UPDATE to 42767 right now. That's UPDATE to 42767. Message and data rates may apply. For terms and privacy, visit RetailMeNot.com. So I found out the other day that at guns80.com, a lot of people don't get the Ghost AR-15 rifle kits because they're afraid that they won't be able to do the machining work required to drill out and make ready the lower. Well, listen, guys, gals, I am not that good of a machinist, I promise you. But I was able to take a drill press with an XY table and knock this out in about 45 minutes. And in all honesty, mine looks really good. Go get yours. Don't be afraid. It's easy. Guns80.com. Go to guns80.com now. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Ricky LeBlanc admitted in Mass only. Sokolov Law, LLC, Chestnut Hill, Mass. Ken Levan, responsible attorney in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Greg Hobby, New Jersey. The choice of lawyer is an important decision that should not be based solely upon advertisements. While this firm maintains joint responsibility, most cases of this type are referred to other attorneys for principal responsibility. If you know what mesothelioma is, you or someone you love has likely been impacted by this devastating cancer. You may be entitled to compensation. Call Sokolov Law today. 1-800-218-HELP. The only known cause of mesothelioma is asbestos exposure. Thousands of hardworking men and women, including many U.S. veterans and industrial workers, have been diagnosed with mesothelioma because manufacturers knew the dangers but put profits ahead of people. An estimated $30 billion in court-ordered trust has been set aside to pay money to asbestos victims. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with mesothelioma, call now. You may be entitled to receive compensation without ever going to court or filing a lawsuit. Call for a free legal consultation at 1-800-28-HELP. That's 1-800-218-HELP. Healthy, organic, fresh fish, robust, mouth-watering vegetables, all from your home. It's called aquaponics. This brilliant, self-sustaining protein and veggie system is perfect for year-round growing. Know exactly where your food is coming from. Aquaponicsource.com is the one-stop shop for all your needs. Fish, fish food, plumbing, full systems, classes, and more. Learn to build your own system. Go to aquaponicsource.com for a free guide to aquaponics. That's aquaponicsource.com. Now more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live. The number is 855-450-3733. That's 855 855- 450 and free. You can spell 3733 spells out free. So you can uh, go ahead and and give us a call there. Being online, it requires a certain level of uh, responsibility. You need to protect yourself while you're online. Um, The fact is, is that folks want to know what you're doing there, whether they're in the government or, you know, big corporations, that kind of thing. If you care about your privacy while you're on the internet, you need ProXPN. It's a virtual private network that encrypts all of your online data before it even gets to your internet service provider. ProXPN does all of it right, um, offering v- uh, OpenVPN, the gold standard of network encryption. They have apps for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, even Linux support as well. Plus, un- uh, unlike the other guys, ProXPN keeps no logs of your activities whatsoever. So now ProXPN has even more servers than they did before, giving you greater speed and security. They accept credit cards and even Bitcoin. You can get 50% off 
of the regular monthly price for the uh, lifetime of the account when you buy an annual account with our code. Our code is FTL50, and it can end up being cheaper per month than a good cup of coffee. So uh, you keep hearing about online privacy and how it's being infringed. Go to ProXPN.com right now. Use the code FTL50 and take back the privacy that is your right. ProXPN.com, FTL50. So we've got some calls in the line. Let's go to, well, actually, you can call in on Skype. Our username is uh, LRN, that says in Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM on Skype. Let's go to Miles, who's calling in. Miles, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys, how's it going? Um, I just wanted to, I was going to call in about um, the Nick Diaz uh, cannabis um, situation in Nevada where uh, he he got uh, banned from the Nevada State Athletic Commission for five years so, for testing positive for cannabis. This is the UFC uh, fighter guy? Yeah, have you guys heard about this? Yeah, I did see it. I I can't say that I'm a big. Um, I, I really hate these contact sports now. I've uh, I just I just hate to see people's bodies getting pummeled like this. But I was totally into it when I was in my twenties, um, be, doing those kind of things. So um, I support their right to do it. I wish they didn't. Well, it's it's uh, Nick Diaz particularly is uh, somewhat of an advocate for cannabis use. He's okay. ve- he's like really really healthy. Um, hardcore vegan. He does triathlons. Um, he's one of the most in shape fighters. He's notorious for just having an endless gas tank. And um, he's one of the only fighters that is very, very outspoken against uh, performance enhancing drug use, uh, steroids. Okay. Wait, I'm a little confused. This guy's vegan, but he's, he's using all kinds of recreational drugs. Um, well, recreational he's it's medical use uh, okay. for so um you know uh, i don't know um he's basically um you know just a very very all natural fighter and um so he fought anderson silva um i think it was last year he tested uh he tested for cannabis positive anderson silva tested for steroids he got one year uh <laughs> penalized for one year uh, for doing drugs that can actually enhance uh, the ability to cause harm to the opponent. Right. Um, And uh, John Jones, one of the champions, he, uh, he did a hit and run where he, um, he was high out of his gourd, smashed his car up on the freeway, jumped out, let flee the scene, um, tested for cocaine Mm -hmm. on that one. No, uh, no punishment. For John Jones. Well, it didn't uh, happen in the ring. All right. Okay, but neither did uh, uh, ne- neither did what is going on with Nick Diaz. Oh, okay. He he tested so. And he's um, been suspended tested. for five years. The guy who's using steroids got suspended for one. The guy who's one using, year. using coke got none. And the guy um, using uh, <laughs> the MJ got five. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah, and it's, it's crazy. It's, it's a, a crazy thing. Atrocious. And, you know, what What would be the reason that they would do this other than sort of it's a contract and that's what they... Uh, um, the their only reason is that they're basically gang members and they're mobsters working for uh, the uh, their state thugs. You're saying the Nevada and, Gaming, Com- or the yes, Nevada Gaming yes. Commission? Yes, the commissioners are thugs, gangsters. Um, well, these are and, accusations. Uh, I, 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 I respect these gangsters, and I sincerely hope they don't do a drive-by on the Free Talk Live studios. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course they're gangsters. They work for the state. They, they don't work for the exactly. state. Do they work for the state? The Nevada Gaming Commission? Yeah, I guess they do, right? The Athletic Commission. Okay. Yeah. So, yes, they are gangsters. It seems and completely I, unfair, Miles. I'm sorry. How does marijuana help you compete in fighting it doesn't seem like a drug that would it's a ridiculous thing to have done yeah i don't if if you think that uh this guy was it's good that this guy got suspended for five years give us a call at 855 450 free miles thanks for the call yeah i don't get that that's not exactly an enhancement kind of drug is it i mean well i I mean for your mind for athletic performance yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be something I would consider doing before, <clears throat> before a fight, but there are people who swear by it. I, I did. I forget who it was I was talking to, but uh, there's somebody I know who says they use it before they use marijuana before they ever go to the gym. Every time they go to the gym, they use marijuana. And I've heard people say oh, that. Yeah. Um, indeed. Oh, maybe I just don't know much about it. I, I wouldn't think that it would be great if you were trying to do cardio, though. Um, anyway, I wouldn't I, think so. I, I, yeah, couldn't but tell you. What, yeah, remember a few years back, the Olympic swimmer guy, Michael Phelps, was it? Yeah. 
he got busted for smoking pot out of a bong or something like that. And so, you know, he's the number one swimmer in the world. Yeah, he's just fine. But let's yeah, go let's go back to Skype. We've got a um someone whose username is Hung Like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's Hung? a great What's on your mind? <laughs> username. You go right um, to the front of the line. <laughs> um, hello people. I just want to say one thing before I get started. Ian, you must glow in the dark. Jesus Christ, I've never seen skin that white. Anyway. <laughs> Welcome to New Hampshire. You can see us at cam.freetalklive.com, and Ian is ha- anyway, partially um, disrobed. This is, about the, this, this is about the email that you sent out earlier about Cantwell getting canned again. I am so glad it was the best thing you could have done. When, he can, when you allowed him to come back that second time, I was so worried you were going to lose uh, sponsors or lose stations. And I just couldn't understand the logic in bringing him back. Well, but it's it's, it's say, forgiveness and trying to be understanding. Yeah, and, but you you're a business person. You got to realize, you know, you, this was you know I was I was seriously worried about the business. If you're going to lose stations, because this dude is just uh, he's just the worst to me anyway. Let's set let's reset for folks just so they know we have a uh, our Friday night co- co-host Christopher Cantwell. Uh, he's a comedian, former co-host, former co-host. Uh, he's a comedian, and he, uh, you know, he's um, said some things that might upset set people as sort of uh, racially inappropriate. Let's let's call it that. Yeah, I call it racist, but you can call it that. You can call it what you like, Hung. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, I just think it was a good movie and I um I applaud it. What's on your mind? That was it. That's all oh, I wanted to say. Well, once once it was clear to me that, you know, what his position was because it wasn't really ever clear, I don't think, at least not to no? me. Uh, what his position was, and he made it clear on the Free Talk Live AMP group. There's a there's a secret Facebook group that Free Talk Live amplifiers have access to, and you can be uh, too by joining at amp.freetalklive.com. That's right, it's five <laughs> bucks a month. And he was in that group uh, until today when he publicly resigned from it, and uh, and he made it pretty clear what his beliefs were about uh, about race, and I determined that that was inappropriate for a Free Talk Live co-host to have those beliefs. So, you know, he's not banned from the show. He can still call in just like you can, hung like Jesus. Okay. But I, I think this is a tough thing because we were talking about this before the show. You know, I'm a doctor, and, and there is definitely some differences between... Uh, oh, well, break's coming up, but there's definitely just some differences between race. And All sometimes you want to... Free Talk yeah. Live. We'll be back. Global warming covertly describes the effects right, of iron poisoning. CO2 is iron poisoned blood right, types um, and is the body's defense mechanism to buffer the oxygen iron here. attracts. We CO2 in blood and oh, blood type prevalences are used as false evidence for global um, warming and is the setup in, for the greatest fraud in business history. Business the healthy blood live. type AB is on the you shroud of Turin and is their DNA show, proof. So they are his Christ. For further calls. information, unveilingthem.com, U-N-V-E-I-L-I-N-G them.com. Hunters, anglers, campers, and survivalists. Get back to nature. Expand your horizons with the highest quality, most versatile, unique slingshots and sling bows on the market at slingbow.com. Slingbow products are compact and models start from just $17.98. They're perfect for your bug out bag or storing in your vehicle. Give yourself and your loved ones the excitement and tradition of Slingbow. A new frontier in archery and truly modern twist on this primitive survival tool. Feel the thrill only at slingbow.com. Yep, yep. Oh, it's, it's gotten like... This is a healthcare alert from the pain relief hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee, back, shoulder, or ankle pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You don't have to suffer any longer. You can immediately qualify for a pain relieving brace at little or no cost to you by calling our 24-7 pain relief hotline at 866-389-0620. Delivery is free and all paperwork is handled for you. If you are on Medicare and have knee, back, shoulder, or ankle pain, don't wait. You can qualify to immediately receive a pain relieving brace at little or no cost by calling our 24 7 pain hotline now at 866 389 0620. Our representatives are standing by 24 7 to take your call and rush you your pain relieving brace at little or no cost to you. Shipping is free and all paperwork is handled for you. Just call 866 389 0620. That's 866 389 0620. Again, 866 389 0620. 
We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. Is negative content or comments on the web affecting your personal or professional reputation? Unfavorable comments, embarrassing pictures, videos, legal documents, and bad tweets can ruin your personal life, your career, or your business. It happens a lot, and it's just not fair. But what can you do? Reputation.com can protect your good name. Get a free consultation now at 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Call right now for a free expert reputation analysis. It's easy to squash the unfair attacks with our patented system, and the analysis is absolutely free. Make the best things about you jump out in searches. Protect your personal and professional reputation, your business, and your income. Get your free reputation analysis from reputation.com right now. Call 800-831-0771. 800-831-0771. 800-831-0771. Paid non attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-261-0937. That's 800-261-0937. Mark, can you take this for a second? This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll free. We're going live. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE, but our calls this evening have been via Skype. Our username is lrn.fm. I don't think there's another show out that lets you call in uh, by Skype, and it sounds better. Yeah, it sounds a lot. lrn.fm on Skype and 855-450-FREE, just on the, uh, the regular old landline. Um, I, sometimes, every once in a while, you'll get this, uh, hear an advertisement that can potentially change your life. And not this, very often. Yeah, not very often, but this is one. Imagine getting the things that you need to buy on a weekly basis. Imagine getting those at a discount of like 20, 25 to 30%. Now, this is for real. We're doing this at my house. Ian, you've been doing it for some time, too. Taryn, you're doing it? Constantly. Yeah. What it's called is saveatpurse.com. Now, the trick is, or the, the hitch, um, and there's always one, right? you got to use Bitcoin to buy. But Bitcoin, you've been hearing more and more about it. Why would you, why would you get into an alternative currency? Well, I can tell you because you can save 20, 25, 30% off of everything that they have at Amazon. And you know as well as I do that Amazon has, you know, groceries, they've got uh, uh, meats, they've got, they've got, um, you know, everything you need basically on a week to week basis. You don't believe me? You're thinking, oh, yeah, well, I need to buy this on a week to week basis. Go to Amazon and look it up before. You just say, assume that they don't have it because they have just about they, everything. They really do, and I I really want to plug that I just saved over sixty dollars on a camera, um, a camcorder. It uh, it really does. All everything I have bought off there has been over twenty percent saved. Yep. I mean it's it's amazing. Go to save at purse.com. Create an account now. I'll tell you how to get some Bitcoin in you know in the very near future, and you can uh, then you can fund the account with Bitcoin and save, save, save. Change your life. Get a big old raise without having to ask your boss for it. Save at purse.com. Let's go back to. Uh, uh, yeah, I've got a comment first because I was talking about the race. That, oh, uh, let's bring back. Uh, oh, yeah. The, the, so he's still on hold. Yeah. Um, on Skype, we have a man who's chosen Hung Like Jesus as his username. <laughs> Hung Like Jesus. That's still so funny. <laughs> so, Taryn, what were you going to say? Oh, I was going to say, okay, I'm uh, for you guys that don't know, I'm a doctor. Um, and some of the things are definitely, there, there's a difference between men and women, and there's a difference between races on certain diseases. Some diseases are more relevant and <coughs> genetically. So, yeah, there is a difference between races, but then we were talking about it, but um, 
besides being medical, what's the point of really hammering that all the time? You know, uh, like Ian was trying to say to me earlier, uh, yeah, there's a difference, but then then what? You know, well, Mark to me, it saying, doesn't matter. I mean, a race is just an arbitrary def, uh, di- difference between human beings. And, you know, we're all people and some people are better at other things than than others. And the color of their skin or the color of their hair, their eyes or how fat they are or whatever doesn't matter to me. What matters is their opinions and their beliefs and what they say and what they do. And people should be judged individually. Yeah. And I don't, it's it, to me, you know, the, the, the goal of Free Talk Live and this, I'm sort of trying to summarize what I said in my announcement, which I made on my Facebook and the Free Talk Live Facebook page. So if you want to see that, you can go to Facebook.freetalklive.com. It should still be relatively near the top of the page. Uh, but, you know, the goal of Free Talk Live is to, first of all, entertain our audience. And Chris Cantwell, there he's an entertaining guy. Like, he's funny and he's smart and all of that. But the second, the uh, secondary goal is to entertain people so they can hear and understand the ideas of liberty. And one of the fundamental precepts is that the individual is, is you know, very, very important. Uh, and if you're talking about people based on the groups that you're putting them in, and you're collectivizing people based on those groups, you're getting away from that that basic concept of the sort of the primacy uh, of the individual. And I have a problem with that. So therefore, because of the things that Chris was saying about race, which I just don't understand the obsession with it, uh, he just doesn't belong as a Free Talk Live co-host anymore. Hung? Um, yes. Um, and they'll have you believe that um, they, I guess, the... Um, the um, professionals that that talk about this stuff they'll have you believe that race is just a social construct and you know that that could be the case but i also believe it has a lot to do with culture yeah. different cultures of course you know do things differently and to listen to uh to Cantwell just go on about it he is just so absolute and i told him this before that I couldn't stop just, just every cell in my body just just disagrees with him and he's just so he, he was just so absolute in all of his uh his findings his findings Tell it was just it just rubbed me the wrong way, and I was just you know I would listen because I love Free Talk Live, and I would listen, but I would torture myself on Fridays listening to him because it was just so ignorant. I just it, and it, it, it sounds like that uh it sounds like the those uh right wing site that the stuff that it is they just just churn out it's just over and over. It's like a mantra over there almost. The things that he say, you go over there, you it'll be the first thing that you see. Like some more violent well, and whatever. Yeah, and, and what I want is is I want a show that uh, people, everybody feels welcome to come in, chime in, uh, give their opinion, and I want uh, people to feel included. And that's uh, you know, so I'm I'm looking for inclusive language as opposed to exclusive language. Hung, thanks so much for giving us a call. Appreciate it. Right. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And Skype's open at lrn.fm. I'd like to add something to that, uh, and that is that. I get a lot of heat just for even being friends with Chris Cantwell or for being welcoming towards Chris Cantwell. Like, oh, why could you welcome someone like that to the community and keen? Well, I think that it's important to be uh, for- forgiving and welcoming and understanding of people's faults and accepting, at least on a on a some level. Oh, I like to- uh, I like hanging out with yeah. uh, Cantwell. I sincerely hope that this doesn't stop that, but I don't know. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I don't regret um, getting to know Chris. I still consider him to be a friend. I want him to hopefully see the error of his ways. And he has, by the way, changed. You know, he, he is a real kind of a uh, hardline guy and he seems like the kind of person who didn't change his opinions. But, you know, I want to give Chris some credit where credit's due. He came to Keene, New Hampshire, uh, you know, as, as an angry guy who had a real axe to grind with the police. And since that time, he's actually, I think, changed his worldview a little bit. He actually had some conversations with the Keene police, uh, specifically uh, there's Lieutenant Tenney and the new police captain, Brian Costa. He actually co- had conversations with these guys and, you know, they treated him like a human being. And he, I think, saw that these guys are people, that they're human beings just like he is. Now, they might be doing a job that he disagrees with. They might be doing things that, you know, we all don't necessarily agree with on a regular basis. But I think that coming to Keene allowed a wall to be broken down between Chris and the police who he would typically would just rail against, uh, just never would stop railing against them. And then, you know, he's in his more recent articles where he's referenced the, the Keene police, he's had to say things like, it makes it really hard. You guys make it hard to hate the police. You know, for, for Chris to say something like that, I think shows some progression. And isn't that valuable? I think that's a good thing. 
888-346-9133. Let's go to Jim calling in from Arcadia, California. Jim, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Well, the first thing is you guys keep beating me to death with that word liberty like it means something. There are so many more qualities in life that are much more important than liberty. No. Like what? And that's all you guys you don't, talk about. You don't get to like have what? those qualities like, if you don't have liberty. Like truth. Oh, you don't? No. Like truth, responsibility, a mother's love for her children. Okay. okay for three stars. Well, I can tell you in uh, North Korea they, that... They uh, liberty, 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 liberty. And all the time. Like, like liberty what? Liberty means you can do any damn thing you want and if you can get away with it. No. No, uh, liberty, liberty means know. that you're responsible for your actions. Because in order for you to have liberty, other people need to have liberty. Jim... Like, yeah. listen, I'm just yeah. trying to explain it to you. All I can tell you is this. You people are more in business than selling ears you to advertisers people. than you are to reaching conclusions that might solve the problems of being a human being in America, the, you know, one, one of the most fascist states in the world. Well, if you think America's okay. fascist, people no, who are no, standing no, no. for liberty are standing against fascism. Fascism. Okay, well, he had his say. You got your and say. And that's what you can do on Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. <laughs> right. You can go ahead and— Say what but, you want and dump us. You know, uh, one thing I understand is that people define liberty differently. Here on Free Talk Live, what we define it as is the ability to do what you want so long as what you want to do does not harm anyone else. And by harm, I mean, you know, sort of— Unless that's what they wanted you to do. Like, right. if you want to hire a dominatrix, then that's cool. Yeah, it's not really harm at that point. That's yeah. a—you're still adding value to the situation. Um, well, I think you're also right that all these other things revolve. If you don't have liberty, you can't have love for a child easily if the government can take your child. You right. Know? Well, I mean, <laughs> I think that, uh, you know, war um, and the state separate uh, people from their children all the time. It happens all over the yeah. globe and it's happened throughout human history. 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE. How do you define liberty? If you could choose any school in the country to earn your college degree and be on your way to a better life, would you choose one the Wall Street Journal recognizes as producing some of the best qualified graduates? Or one the Princeton Review ranks as a leader in undergraduate education? Or maybe one the U.S. News & World Report names among the most innovative schools in the country? Now, you don't have to choose. At Arizona State University, we want to help you learn to thrive in life. At ASU Online, we offer over 100 graduate and undergraduate programs on your time and schedule. You receive the exact same curriculum, degree, and prestigious faculty as the on-campus students, and we're universally recognized as one of the innovators in online learning technologies. For information, call 1-800-595-9736. U.S. News & World Report ranked ASU in the top 10 best places to earn an online degree. So learn to thrive with ASU Online. Call today at 1-800-595-9736. That's 1-800-595-9736. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. Why would you go anywhere else? Katie offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level four go to katiearmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can mention this ad and receive a free water purification kit for a limited time with any body armor package go to katiearmor.com that's c-a-t-i armor.com come and take it uh, no way is that a real bullet necklace no it's a nine millimeter bullet necklace with matching earrings you'll notice those are awesome where'd you get them they found them at patriotnecklace.com wow they have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains patriotnecklace.com patriotnecklace.com your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged american-made stainless steel dog tag chain a percentage of every sale goes to military and service related charities and get a discount by entering gcn at checkout show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from patriotnecklace.com Owe $10,000 or more to the IRS? Get on board with the tax admiral. Don't pick on the IRS alone. I'll cut penalties and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe $10,000 or more, then call the tax admiral. Call 800-287-7180. Again, that's 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. Hi, this is Walt Augustinowitz. I'm the founder and CEO of ID Stronghold. By now you've heard our commercials about wallets that protect you from electronic pickpocketing. Ten years ago, I created a way to protect my own cards from prying eyes after government officials started talking about issuing a national ID card with a built-in radio chip called RFID. I felt having to broadcast my personal information was an invasion of privacy. 
soon after, it was also announced that credit cards, debit cards, U.S. passports, hotel room keys, and even transit passes would all soon incorporate RFID. It was then I formed ID Stronghold to share my inventions in blocking RFID signals with the world. There are a lot of misconceptions out there today about RFID. I encourage everyone to get informed and get protected. Please go to IDStronghold.com and get the facts and the wallet sleeves or badge holders you need to protect your personal financial data. You'll be pleasantly surprised that through our direct sales model, you won't pay more than other comparable unprotected wallets. It is as though the protection is free. Visit IDStronghold.com today. A revolution in body protection has arrived only at FortressSurvivalLLC.com. Introducing the revolutionary patented Level 3 Bulletproof Vest. 100% Kevlar, 100% American made. Concealable, fully adjustable, and the lowest price on the market. Adult size normally $289.99, now just $250. Kid size normally $239.99, now just $200. Get affordable protection with a Level 3A Bulletproof Vest from FortressSurvivalLLC.com. For thou art my rock in my fortress. Psalm 31.3. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 8... 855-450 55 450 free. You can call in, bring up whatever topic you want to bring in, bring up. But uh, one of the things I brought up when we came in is, is apparently, oh, quite a few of the people running for president have smoked marijuana, admitted to smoking marijuana. And I'm willing to bet that the numbers are significantly higher because now we're moving into the demographics, right? When you're talking about somebody hitting their teenage years and somewhere between, you know, the in the mid to late 60s. I mean, these people are now, I hit mine in the 80s, so you're talking about 60-year-olds. You're talking about people retiring that were involved in the hippie generation. So you're talking about a lot of people have smoked marijuana at this point. And of the presidential candidates, it just seems so strange to me that somebody's going to be the chief executive um, and they're going to oversee, that's what the executive does, oversees the imprisoning of people, um, oversee the imprisoning of people who have done the same thing that they did. Yep, and, and I find it disturbing. Not only that, make it a political platform and use it to their advantage. I mean, there's a lot of uh, police groups that love it when you say, you know, we're going to get stricter on drug laws, and you know, they're they're not only going to they do use the hypocritical more stance, cops, but that gonna... means more promotions. That means more people in jail. Prison guards, what do you think the prison guard lobby wants? Do you think they want more people in jail, therefore more um, prison guards, or fewer people in jail? More uh, more cops mean the police union gets more dues. That's yep. all it is. It's just a big make-work program. And I'm sick of it. As an American, I am sick of it. Let's go to the phones. Um, apparently, dumb like NWA is calling in from Compton, California. <laughs> that, that name sounds a little fishy. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds fishy. <laughs> Dumb, you're on Free Talk Live. What up, honkies? <laughs> Word. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, I was inspired by a hung like Muhammad to call in. I bet he'd find that offensive if I were to call something call somebody like that. But anyway, I far be it for me to defend the POS that is the Chris Christopher Kent. Well, I don't believe he's racist, but I do believe, like the previous caller, he views the world through a racial lens. And I, but I bet I, uh, the, what makes you think the other caller bre- um, sees the world through a racial? Yeah, lens? Yeah, seems to be jumping to a conclusion. He, he didn't say anything he about that. that. He infers that Christopher Cantwell is racist because he used words like a word I heard within three seconds of getting out of my car today, and a crap band was playing in an open public space, very very loud, and I heard the N word drop in its full pronunciation, wrapped, by the way, like it's a lovely word, a cool word. And I'm sure that dumb like Jesus doesn't think that is racist because it's a brother singing it, not a white dude. Yeah, I'm disturbed. I, 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 I too, am disturbed by the use of the N-word. Um, and But, I mean, to some I extent, it's, it's a choice. It, as long as it's not meant to offend. That's why I don't care about a crap band like NWA having it in its name. Oh, I forget. It's with an A, not an E-R. So that makes it okay. 
Anyway, I didn't again, hear uh, Hung Like Jesus say anything about this. I mean, maybe I missed missed that, but uh, it seemed to me that he said that it was uh, it was that Chris Chris Cantwell, uh, you know, upset him to his core. You know, every the word that came out of his mouth was Christopher Cantwell a racist? Did he not? I don't recall. I don't recall that. No. I believe I did hear him suggest, and he was glad that you took him off air. I certainly heard that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm calling to defend the POS. Well, a lot of the things that Chris Cantwell said— uh, He said in a private group that you can't see. Yeah, a lot of the things that he said would, by definition, make him a racist. Um, I wasn't willing to go no, that far either. Are, are no, it would be racist. Can you define Dr. what a racist is for me? Are Dr. Dre, Easy e and Ice Cube racist? I don't know. I haven't had a good I don't good think to Dr. Dre. I don't think Dr. Dre, Easy e and Ice Cube, Easy es uh, you know, rest in peace, but I don't think they would get on uh, anywhere in public and claim that black people are genetically inferior to white people. That's, by definition, a very racist statement. I don't think statement. Well claim that either, but may I say one well, more Well, you didn't see again. the statements, right. then did you, sir? <laughs> then, then you are an ignoramus no, you. by the definition. All right, then. Well, then you'll have to take our word for it. That Christopher Cantwell's racist? I didn't say that he was racist. I said he would not okay, do yeah, anything. Excuse me. I else. said he would not say anything to make people think otherwise. Instead, he was saying things like certain races were genetically inferior to others based on supposed evidence that he believes that he has found. And my that's point is that it doesn't that matter. Doesn't make him racist. That makes him. That, I'm pretty sure that's the textbook definition. That's like the definition of racism. Why don't you go look it up? It affirms my original point that he views the world through a racial lens. All right. Dummy. Why don't you look up the word racist and find out what the definition is? I know what it means. Well, you don't don't appear to. When I asked you, you wouldn't tell me. He's racialist. He's racialist. Whatever that means. He views the world through a racial lens. He sees you as a white dude and he thinks... He sees dumb like Jesus as a black dude, and he makes certain inferences. What makes you think dumb like Jesus is a black dude? Oh, you tell him he's a. I think he's. he's white, I think like he's black, but I'm just I'm saying white, you're jumping you? to a conclusion. You know I'm white, don't you, Minister? I I can tell and by you your. Never thought otherwise. By your voice, but I do know okay. people that you cannot tell by their voice. Right. And is, I know is this James? Brother... This is James from Arizona. Oh, okay. How long did it take that dope to figure I'm that out? I'm telling you, and That's remember, happening. he went to the smart school in our town. I actually I don't brag about anything about my intelligence I call to take you on, but if you want to make fun of me, always let me have the last word, minister. I'm not making fun May of you. I, I was talking about Ian. I don't know what school you Which went one to. One of your tools is, uh, uh, by the way, uh, monitoring the Facebook page, that, the F Facebook page that you put on your own tramper group, minister. Which one of you two losers, liars, preachers that lie do that? I'm not sure. What, what is he talking, talking about? And then delete my comments. I'm not deleting Which any of your comments. Do? I have spent no time deleting any of your comments. Through your teeth, Mark Edge. Oh, really? I'm a liar. Nining Kronguas points is no longer on that face. Have another drink. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks so much. North Don't drive bed. this time. 855-450-3733. And, you know, Definition of racist. May I hear from the dictionary a person who believes in racism, which is the doctrine that one's own racial group is superior or that a particular racial group is inferior to the others. Now, to give Chris some credit, he also has stated to me that he believes that Asians uh, score higher on IQ tests than white people do, but that still is a racist statement to make. And now, the funny thing about the textbook definition of racist is, is that there's some pretty practical things to say about race. Like, for instance, if you were just going to, if you had to play a basketball game, Right. Um, And you're just going to just go ahead and pick people out of a crowd. Um, The chances are good that people are going to pick the black guys because they probably play more basketball. And if you look at the NBA, more black guys in, in the NBA. So you can say and taller. You know, like these are things that you can quantify, Um, you know, perhaps Hispanics, Central Americans are shorter, uh, blacks are taller. If you're talking about using height as a form of inferiority and superiority, racism is going to fall into this uh, this category. It's very quantifiable. I don't think you can do this with intelligence because you're um, it's it's a much more complicated uh, issue. Um, you know, you're talking about IQ tests and things like that. You're talking about people getting good schools versus bad schools. So I'm, I'm not interested. In I'm it. also a big believer that the tests are pretty rigged. Um, I mean, I've looked at these things and I, I really don't 
I think it's a lot more cultural than than it leads on to. Be. I wouldn't know, right? Like they're they're obviously aimed at the major major culture, and although you know, uh, I, I I just I, don't trust test honestly. I mean, yeah. how can you take a test and that determines, uh, you know, how someone's gonna what their future is gonna be like? That's crazy to me. Some of the best, if you could interview the top five hundred companies. Almost all of them are high school dropouts. I mean, it's like that doesn't. Or at least tell college you. dropouts. Or college, yeah. I mean, oh, gosh, it just drives me crazy because I have a very high level of education, and I'm not smarter than than a lot of these callers. It just means yeah. I can put up with school. Education <laughs> and uh, and intelligence aren't the same things, no. and um, different different career lines require different sorts of. Uh, um, uh, d- different c- kinds of education. Well, let's go to uh, Sebastian calling in on LRN.FM. That's our username on Skype. Sebastian, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, this is Sebastian from Costa Rica. I just wanted to say very quickly that by all uh, scientific standards up to date, uh, IQ tests are the best proxy available for measuring intelligence or the G factor, which is about 1.8 inheritable. That means that there is about an 80% correlation with IQ tests and how inheritable IQ is. And we're not just talking about a specific cognitive profile, meaning like someone who's really good with words or someone who's really good with uh, special visual things like building up Lego or a Rubik's Cube, but we're talking about general intelligence factor. Now, I understand how this can be politically incorrect for, for people to bring up the, the whole uh, uh, differences in uh, averages between groups. I can understand that, but it needs to be said. Why does it need to be said? needs to be said that this is not an act of, act of aggression. I mean, we need to pursue truth wherever it might lead us. And if it offends the sensibilities of some people, well, our libertarianism offends the sensibilities of yeah, statists. It, 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 it offends them because well, they're aggressing against you. 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. If you expect secure, privacy-oriented services and real human support from your web hosting provider, choose Virtual Space International. From domain names and SSL certificates to offshore banking accounts, Virtual Space International has been the all-in-one, multi-language solution for over 25 years. And satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. We even accept Bitcoin. Find out how to get 50% off for life at SaveTimeHosting.com. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. No, I'm good. Thank you. Breaking news this hour from townhall.com. I'm Ron DeRockstra. Police have launched a search after someone reportedly fell into the water at Niagara Falls tonight. State police officers say the person reportedly went over at Prospect Point around 6 p.m. local time. The man suspected in a recent spate of shootings along Interstate 10 in Phoenix made a court appearance today. But Bart Graves with the Arizona Department of Public Safety says the freeway shooting case is not over yet. 
This was a result of exhaustive police work. However, the $50,000 reward is still avail available as we investigate and try to uh, close out all the related incidents that have occurred these past few weeks. Authorities say a gun owned by Leslie Merritt Jr. can be forensically tied to the shootings. Merritt says police have the wrong man because the gun's been in a pawn shop for two weeks. Judge Lisa Roberts set bail for Merritt at a million dollars. Michigan Republicans held a leadership conference in Mackinac today. Republican presidential candidate John Kasich says Ohio's done well while he's been governor and that prosperity should be shared. We are now up almost 350,000 private sector jobs. And I want to tell you one other thing. When we do better, people who live in the shadows cannot be ignored. Meanwhile, at the Democratic Party convention in New Hampshire, former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley says officials need to do a better job of making Wall Street executives accountable. What have we come to as a country that you can get pulled over for having a broken tail light, but if you wreck the nation's economy, you're totally untouchable? Hundreds of Beatles-related memorabilia went up for bid at Heritage Auctions in New York today, among them the first signed contract by the group before they were the Fab Four. It was signed by the Beatles in 1961 in Hamburg. They literally didn't know what they were signing. Heritage Auctions director Dean Harmeyer says the winning bid was just over $93,000. More on these stories at townhall.com. You know, I'm not a genius about money. I love my credit cards, and they love me. I was using them as a source of income, and then I got behind in my payments, and creditors were calling. I figured I had a problem, and I didn't know how to deal with it. I heard about Trinity, so I called and talked to a counselor. In half an hour, we worked out a plan. Now I've got one easy monthly payment, a lower interest rate, and I'm getting out of debt. If you're in an endless cycle of paying on credit card balances that never seem to go away, then get ready for a toll-free number that will put you on a path to financial recovery. Trinity will consolidate your accounts, put a stop to late fees and over limit charges, reduce your interest, and possibly improve your credit score. You'll save thousands. If your debt has you down, we should talk. Call 1 800 758 5360. That's 1 800 758 5360. Call 1 800 758 5360. In his weekly address, President Obama says Congress should not threaten to shut down the government over Planned Parenthood funding. Democrats are ready to sit down and negotiate with Republicans right now. But it should be over legitimate issues, like how much do we invest in education, job training, and infrastructure, not unrelated ideological issues like Planned Parenthood. For the GOP weekly address, West Virginia Senator Shelley Moore Capito says Congress should block the deal with Iran. Based on its past actions, Iran is not a credible player. Sanctions adopted by Congress are what brought Iran to the negotiating table in the first place. Three Minnesota brothers who've been dominating the competitive world of wildlife stamp painting pulled off a trifecta today. They took the top three spots in the prestigious federal duck stamp art contest, which is considered the ultimate prize in wildlife art. News and analysis at townhall.com. I'm Ron DeRockstra. Kim Davis is out of jail and on the job, but the saga surrounding the Kentucky County clerk who's refused to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples appears to be far from over. In a court filing Friday, the attorney for one of Davis's employees said he believes Davis has again violated a federal court order by altering marriage license forms to remove her name and the name of the county. In a separate court filing on Friday, attorneys for the homosexual couples who sued Davis appear to agree and say they're exploring legal options. Davis spent five days in jail for refusing to obey a federal judge's ruling that she issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples to comply with a U.S. Supreme Court decision that nullified state marriage amendments nationwide. Patrick Foss, SRN News. The father of the two-year-old Boston girl, formerly known as Baby Doe, says he doesn't believe the toddler's mother caused her death. Joseph Amoroso says Rachel Bond told him that her boyfriend fatally injured Bella Bond. More on these stories at townhall.com. I'm Ron DeRockstra.
Hey, Berkey Guy here. Are you still drinking unfiltered tap water? Does your water contain chlorine or fluoride? Will you have drinkable water in an emergency? The Berkey Guy is here to help you remove these and other potential contaminants from your water, thus helping you drink clean, purified water. We offer Berkey water purification systems at the lowest available prices online. Don't go another moment without Berkey System. Over the last 10 years, we've helped thousands drink clean, purified water. Join them by visiting GoBerkey.com or call me, the Berkey Guy, at 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor period with packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. Why would you go anywhere else? KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level four. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free water purification kit for a limited time with any body armor package. Go to KDArmor.com. That's C-A-T-I Armor.com. Come and take it. Free Talk Live. It is Free Talk Live, and you can call in about any topic that uh, happens to be on your mind. Yes, we are live. It is, uh, well, you know, when you when you look in the world of radio land, there isn't much live on the evenings. Uh, the big radio syndicates have found it's just not particularly profitable. And I would agree with them. However, Free Talk Live has a commitment to bringing you live content not just seven nights a week, but 365 days a year. We're here on Christmas, Thanksgiving, you name the holiday, and we're here uh, on Free Talk Live. So you can call in and uh, talk about whatever it is you choose to. It's uh, Mark here this evening. And Taryn P. Lupo. We have kicked Ian out. No, he's uh, he's off to his, uh, his he's, he's taking the evening off, and he right. can do that. Yep. I'm it, trying to convince him to wear, uh, a, what do you call it, electronica? The glowing lights and I the have whistles. I no idea what that is. Yeah, <laughs> <That's>, no. <laughs> I, I think it's a, a southern term for when people, what they wear to a rave. I, you know, I know very little about raves. To me, a rave is just a party um, and um, you I, know, whatever. I honestly, I think I've been to one rave in the 90s and back then it was totally underground. Like yeah. you would never know where it was until the last second. Somebody that knew a guy knew a guy. Yeah. It was like going to a gay club in the 50s. You had to go like I wouldn't a street, know about that either. street, a street behind. Oh, yeah. no, I said too much. Indeed. Um, but I, you know, I have been to one <laughs> event like what you're talking about and it was sort of underground and it was up in Toronto actually. Uh, quite a Quite a fun thing to do. But ultimately... Uh, I don't know that much about it. Uh, I did, see, however, see one time I saw some uh, some ravers dancing to Thomas the Tank Engine. I thought that was just awesome. <laughs> it's really great to see. Is that what happened? And, indeed. Uh, but I got a story here. Um, apparently, um, it's it's happening again. This happens, call it yearly, maybe a little less than yearly. Somebody gets bent out of shape about what folks are wearing. And some city council or town council or fathers or aldermen or whatever they might be in your particular area decides we just can't have people wearing those things. And those things tend to be certain types of bathing suits, gals showing too much, and yeah, the Daisy Dukes, I remember that. Fellas with pants that don't have belts in them, right? That's the, true. The kind of pants that hang around your your fanny or lower. I mean, I've seen people wearing them just the low as they could possibly be. And this is not a fashion choice that I consider either to be aesthetically pleasing, nor is it one that I consider to be particularly practical. If you wish to run, you may not, <laughs> no. right? If you wish to kick, you may not. If you have to step up onto something, you can't. I don't I don't consider I, this to be particularly a good idea. I think the idea was the style was supposed to be about uh, growing up poor and getting hand-me-downs. I think that's what it was about, too. It was too. like, you know, you wear baggy pants to show that you always had hand-me-downs and Maybe clothes they, that didn't fit. I would assume that, that that's where it started. I they're believe. wearing them because that's all they had was hand-me-downs yeah. and, and that sort of thing. And this is a fashion that is not new by any stretch of the imagination. No, I think um, it was even around when I was in high school for a short time. I couldn't tell you. It when were you in high school? It just keeps coming back. Uh, 80s? Yeah, in the 80s. Um, I can tell you that uh, it was a fashion in the late 80s. Yeah, late 80s is yeah, what I'm certainly. talking about. So um, I don't know when it when it started. If you believe the story about prison punks, you're wrong. What um, was this? What's that urban that, myth? It's some kind of advertisement 
for um, you know the in prison uh, that uh, people would would pull their pants down in order to advertise what it is that they wish wish to sell. Oh, and uh, that's, that's what they think. I thought it was some sort of nonsense. hand-me-down. Statement. No, it's a hand-me-down thing. Okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> I mean, I've looked into this. I, don't know. Um, I have more experience than most. I actually s- spent time in prison in the 1980s and 90s, and I can tell you that uh, you know. So I I know that the, this culture a little better than most. And no, that's not what it is. Is is the whole. Uh, Someone leading someone else around by the pocket, a real thing. Have you ever um, seen that where, like, you show someone that you're their, uh, their B by holding their pocket and they lead you around? Or is uh, that like urban myth? Uh, that may or may not be true in one particular place or one particular region. It wasn't true where I was. Um, it so, was. So, how do you show someone in prison that you own them? Um, that wasn't done that much. Um, that would have been. You know, so, that's like TV lore. Yeah, it's it, it's kind of looked down upon. Um, you know, homosexual relationships. And when I was in prison, was like, oh, they're doing that, are they? Um, so you just really didn't see that much in prison. It's not like TV. You, you know what happened? You knew people were there that uh, were certainly out in the open about it, but it was um, relatively un- uncommon. Um, I mean, I would have cons- it would. It's something that people talked about, and they didn't talk particularly nicely about it when Got they it. did. And um, you know, I spent eight and a half years in prison, and I never had a homosexual relationship. So you, it, you know. <laughs> you can avoid this if they, if you wanted to. Right on. So there you go. Um, anyway, uh, going back to the story here from rawstory.com, a small Alabama town is about to turn their cops into fashion police by passing an ordinance banning saggy pants and two short shorts that expose too much butt or to city residents, according to the Alex City Outlook. We have people walking down the street with their hand in front of them holding up their pants, Dadeville C- City Councilman uh, Frank Goodman said. And I'm going to say, say this in defense of uh, Frank here is, is if you gave fo- these folks a belt, they wouldn't use it. <laughs> Probably not. Right? No. Well, I think the point is they like to show off the boxers they're wearing, too. I'm not like sure. Uh, they always have a fancy set of boxers on. I am completely unqualified to make statements about fashion. I can give my personal opinion, and my personal opinion is pull your pants up, son. You're never going to be able to get a job right. that way. I got to interrupt and take this sideways. What was the worst fashion train you got on? Oh, me? Yeah, personally. Oh, God. It's a, I, I've got some <laughs> terrible things that I did. What did you do this in the 80s? This was the 1980s. <laughs> yeah, bring it right? out. I was in high school in the 1980s. Did I was you... wearing bright fluorescent colors, shirts that buttoned up all the way to the, the top button without a tie on. Parachute um, pants? Oh yeah, parachute pants. I had zippers <laughs> everywhere. I had shaved my head sort of around uh. um, around the top in, into this, I, I'm not going to call it a mohawk, but just sort of the top of the hair was there and the sides and the back were shaved. I had it dyed bleach white. It looked like a piece of popcorn had landed uh. on the top of my head. Um, and, you know, I, I think mean, one time I wore a tuxedo top with camouflage pants bottom and right. Dude, sorry. And did Anything this stop you? In the 80s, man. <laughs> did this stop you from getting female attention? Uh, no, not really. Right. This is the no. problem, right? Is is that you have to stand out in a crowd? Yeah. And I mean, this is why. Chicks, I don't know. I mean, but the women were wearing just as stupid stuff as we were. And I mean, what is that look they did in the 80s with? You'd wear a full body leotard and you'd wear a belt, like like you needed a belt. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like those pants, you really need a belt of skin tight leotard. Again, I'm completely unqualified. <laughs> I'm only a male, and all I can do is like, you know, we're we're going down to the base li- lizard brain here. Is I'm just checking out their qualifications from an evolutionary standpoint. Oh, it doesn't matter to me what they're particularly wearing. So I miss the '80s. Yeah, I, I just <laughs> I, I don't I don't have any room to talk about what young people wear because I certainly, as a young person, wore some things that I look back on now, and um, you know, maybe maybe uh, not. I do miss those uh, Jabad jeans that I had. They were really like. They they were really balloony. Oh, um, like MC Hammer pants. Sort they of? weren't like that. They actually ballooned all the way down to the bottom, as opposed I don't to giving. Remember them, those? Yeah, and I'm not sure that they. I remember. All right, now the early '90s also had some pretty bad fashion. I uh, I wore the ripped jeans, and and I even for a short time grew a rat tail. Oh, I had a rat tail. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, have but a I had that in the tail? '80s. Um, in the '90s, <laughs> I spent a great deal of time wearing. Um, 
wearing That's awesome. all blue uniforms with a white stripe down the side. And I wore it every day. It's like it's like <laughs> it's like I I really didn't want to, but they would have given me a disciplinary report and kept me in prison if I hadn't. So there you go. <laughs> Your thoughts on uh, fashion, but I'm going to go, go on. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt, but that's important. We need to know what Mark used to wear. <laughs> 855-450-3733. Frank Goodman, city councilman in Dade, Dadeville, says, Then they have to the nerve to walk into places of business and ask for a job. Now, if somebody doesn't get a job, Frank, it's none of your business. If you come to my house and you're going to pull them up before you're on my property, much less my door, I prayed about this. I know that God would not go around with his pants down. So... I don't know what Frank Frank's a mess. I'm not. As far as I'm concerned, apparently, uh, didn't Jesus didn't even wear pants, did he? Uh, a well, robe? N- not in the pictures. No. I don't know. Well, we have course, no clue yeah. what we Jesus don't know, wore because Jesus, yeah, right, was even white. Dub Dub's a sank. <laughs> Jesus was a Sephardic Jew, is what yes, he was. That's right. I don't think he. He looked like that carpenter. Dub the saggy pants ordinance. City council member Stephanie Kelly opted to include women who wear uh, too short dresses or booty shorts. My concern is that it should be for everybody, Kelly said at Tuesday's uh, city council meeting. I think for the girls with these uh, shorts up so high, looking like undergarments and dresses so short, I don't want us to be showing favoritism. So there you go. Um, the fashion well, police are live and well. And this is around the United States. This isn't just in Dadeville, um, Alabama. This is happening all the time. We read these I, stories. Yeah. Your thoughts, 855-450-3733. It's 855 free. Free Talk Live. Olive is a yellow lab, six years old, full of energy. But, oh, man, Olive was suffering, to use a word, like a dog. She was itching, she was scratching, she was licking. 24 hours a day, she was shedding all the time. And it drove my wife crazy because she had to vacuum the house a couple times a day. So I'm going up the expressway, and the radio commercial comes on. PD stopped eating. All his hair fell out. Mounds and mounds of fur. Our hairballs have hairballs. And I almost drove off the road because I thought this person on the radio commercial was living with my dog, Olive. And I called my wife. I said, dear, you got to check out this product called Dynavite. Go to D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. So we started Olive on the Dynavite. In about six weeks, she almost has entirely stopped ditching, scratching, stopped licking herself. Most of the hair has grown back under her belly. Unexpectedly, her coat has become smooth and shiny, almost like it was when she was a newborn pup. Olive is happy, and my wife is probably the happiest person because the house is cleaner. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. Are you tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich, working harder than ever, but getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare, having someone else raise your children? With our opportunities, you can start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss, work from home, and live a happier life. At Be The Boss Network, you'll find hundreds of work-from-home opportunities that you can literally start today and be earning money as soon as next week. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss. Get out of the rat race. Work from home. Go to freedom106.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 106.com. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You be the boss. Go to freedom106.com. A revolution in body protection has arrived only at FortressSurvivalLLC.com. Introducing the revolutionary patented Level 3 Bulletproof Vest. 100% Kevlar, 100% American made. Concealable, fully adjustable, and the lowest price on the market. Adult size normally $289.99, now just $250. Kid size normally $239.99, now just $200. Get affordable protection with a Level 3A Bulletproof Vest from FortressSurvivalLLC.com. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Psalm 31.3. Is negative content or comments on the web affecting your personal or professional reputation? Unfavorable comments, embarrassing pictures, videos, legal documents, and bad tweets can ruin your personal life, your career, or your business. It happens a lot, and it's just not fair. 
but what can you do? Reputation.com can protect your good name. Get a free consultation now at 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Call right now for a free expert reputation analysis. It's easy to squash the unfair attacks with our patented system, and the analysis is absolutely free. Make the best things about you jump out in searches. Protect your personal and professional reputation, your business, and your income. Get your free reputation analysis from Reputation.com right now. Call 800 800-831-0771. 800 800-831-0771. 800-831-0771. We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops, and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at Defender DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. Now, more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733, 855-450-FREE. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind this evening. Um, what we were been talking about, however, this story coming out of Alabama, um, and I've seen these all over, from the boardwalk in New Jersey, um, down south, up north, the issue of baggy pants and... Gal showing a little too much. Um, and the towns just can't handle it. They just can't handle it. I know in Sarasota, Florida, where I'm from, they had to ban, they felt like they had to ban thong bikinis. Uh, you know, it, <laughs> what's the big yeah. deal? Uh, so what? It's just not something that I think needs to be done necessarily. But uh, the folks here in Alabama, in uh, Dadeville, Dadeville City, uh, apparently, um, it felt like that's what they had to do. It's about respect, Frank Goodman explained. He's one of the city councilors. Who's going to respect you if you don't respect yourself? I don't. I, that's not your job. Yep. And <laughs> there's a difference between like if this was a private beach or a private place where you got to set the rules and you said, you know, nobody coming in can wear baggy pants or nobody can come on my beach that has uh, thongs. Fine, if it's a private thing, but once it's forced by government money out of your pocket, it's a taxpayer issue. You don't have any legs to stand on, man. Right, you gotta you gotta take it everybody through because you're taking their money. For me, that's the issue. So let's uh, let's say it's a a park or a beach. A beach is a park. It's a park that has water that rush, um, washes up on the uh, side of it. Um, if if you're talking about the beach and I am a taxpayer in your town or you tax people generally in your town to pay for this particular park, then you basically have to let everybody come. It is no longer a private situation. I, I would say that you could uh, exclude people based on where they live and say only people who live in this town can come. Right, who but, pay for it. And, and then people are ob- always going to take it back to what if folks want to get naked? Well... That's really the problem with public spaces. What makes you think I've got to pay for your public space? What if I don't want to? What if I'm on the other side of town and I never use it? I mean, this is, honestly, this is uh, the same as school. Um, My son is homeschooled, and in my town, basically 75% of the taxes that they levy on my property are going to the school, a school he doesn't attend, a school that he will never attend if I have anything to do about it, and it's going to educate other people's kids. Now, we know money's fungible. I could spend more money on his education, I suppose, if I had that uh, $2,500 or whatever it is um, to spend on him, but they take it, and they give it to other people's kids. Now, that's what's wrong with this situation. You're taking people's money, and you're making them pay you're making them pay for it and then they can't wear what they want to wear and i need to have the right 
to go on my property and wear saggy pants if that's what I want to do. And if you're taking my money to fund your public land, then it's my property too. That's yeah, what they that's, say. They that's say it's right. everybody's. It's everybody's property, which means everybody gets to do what they want with that property. But we all know that's not true. I mean, I remember years ago. Uh, oh gosh, there, that yeah, Jesse it's guy. absolutely not true. Yeah, yeah. That, that they were trying to do some activism here to point it out that there was this one guy that went into town and decided, you know, if I got to pay taxes, um, I'm going to make this part a garden. You yes. remember Anarcho Jesse? How he he went yeah. out and he gardened. Yeah, there was. And it was a. Um, I think it was a good activism to point out the irony that yeah, you you they say it's all lip service that you uh, you own it too, but then when you try to do something or improve the land, you don't own it. The cops come and arrest you. Um. Yeah. This is it's interesting, right? So what um happened in that particular circumstance is it's a town square, and uh, he was saying that he was going to use the the land that has grass on it to uh, grow some crops. Obviously, it was staged public um, civil disobedience. But it's interesting because this isn't new. Um, and during the English Revolution, we're talking the 1640s and 50s here, um, there was a movement of people called the Diggers. And there was all kinds of movements going on at the time. Remember, King James's Bible had come out in 7, 1611, and people were just getting, oh, wow, we don't have to be have information handed down to us anymore. So okay. there was an explosion in thought. And the English Revolution is a, is a revolution in thought in many ways. And the diggers said, we're sick and tired of these nobles taking up all this land while we're out here, you know, sub- just barely subsisting. We, we want to be able to grow food on this land because land didn't really change hands. Uh, people rented from the nobles and it was all very controlled. You had to you had to know somebody in order to be able to. Uh, you know, be an owner. You had to give away most of the food you grew. Uh, Depending on the time in history, I couldn't tell you what was going on specifically during the English Revolution. I can tell you that uh, we had a deposed king at that point, and uh, the the Lord Protector Cromwell was uh, was in power. So, uh, you know, the idea of going on public land and using it for your own particular uses, this isn't new, and that often uh, appeals to the conservatives. The reason I mention these things is uh, conservatives want a historical... Uh, connection to to, to to stories, and many people wouldn't say that nobles uh, keeping land away from uh, uh, you know the peasants was acceptable. But what's the difference? What's the difference between your town council? Aren't these people effectively our nobles? Yeah, you can vote yeah. them out, but don't act like you have a lot of control in that particular area. When was the last time your vote was the one deciding vote in an election? Yeah, and if it it's... wasn't, your vote didn't matter it counted but it didn't matter it makes me wonder is there any place in this country where you do not have to pay uh taxes to well let's say property taxes or to a school if you don't have kids or is there anywhere that like gives you a voucher if you want to homeschool or for me that i'll never have kids why am i paying this i don't know the answer to that um i know that i doubt that they let anyone do that i think I, i can't think of one place if you're a caller and you know Please tell me because I would love to learn. 855-450-3733 or lrn.fm on Skype. There is a lot of there are a lot of things coming out um, that uh, make us more free in the area of education. Um, you know, different states are different on this, but the old model, the public school model, is a crappy one. It is terrible, and it just infuriates me. Mostly that's what we've got going on here in, in New Hampshire, but different places are different. Um, a lot of charter schools are coming out. People are getting uh, vouchers for uh, attending homeschool and, and um, those kind of things. So it is happening. It's just happening slowly, and like, you know, I, the system is loath to change. I always thought, uh, I mean, I, I don't really have any desire to run for office, but I, I hope that I could find someone here in New Hampshire just to stick it on a bill to start the conversation of, okay, we, we think that— um, only people with kids have to pay property taxes. If you send your kid to school, you have to pay property taxes. No one else does. Like to propose a bill along those means just to see all the backpedaling. And uh, I, I think it would be a really interesting experiment. A lot of people will say that you have to pay because, um, you know, you don't you want intelligent people in your community? Well, that's to that's suggest the fallacy that yeah, school makes you intelligent. Right. Well, it's the fallacy that um, <laughs> that the forcing monopolies tend to provide bad customer service and provide it at very high prices. This is really true when it comes to public schools. In public, the public school system produces twenty percent of its graduates, graduates, not the dropouts, the graduates who are functionally illiterate. 
This is the, I mean, you don't think we can do better than that by simply not paying for public school at all? Yeah. I, I mean. Compared I, I, to what? You know? Yeah. If you just let people um, pay tuition for their kids to go to school, you're going to get better education. 855-450-3733. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-261-0937. That's 800-261-0937. Healthy, organic, fresh fish, robust, mouth-watering vegetables, all from your home. It's called aquaponics. This brilliant, self-sustaining protein and veggie system is perfect for year-round growing. Know exactly where your food is coming from. Aquaponicsource.com is the one-stop shop for all your needs. Fish, fish food, plumbing, full systems, classes, and more. Learn to build your own system. Go to aquaponicsource.com for a free guide to aquaponics. That's aquaponicsource.com. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just $19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV my name's Clyde, age 59, and I reside in Florence, South Carolina. The doctors diagnosed me as having clogged arteries. Felt like I was carrying heavy concrete blocks around my feet and legs. I started taking heart and body extract as directed. It is less than three weeks, and I'm like a young man again. It's unbelievable that an herbal formula can work so fast and so powerfully. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light Systems system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. If you're like me, you're concerned about the stock market and the economy. You're asking the questions, but it just doesn't seem that you're getting the right answers. Well, my friends at the Wealth Preservation Institute not only have the answers, but they put together a free report, how to survive the upcoming economic collapse and protect your 401ks, IRA savings, and retirement income. Don't hesitate. This report's for free for a limited time by calling 888-772-2929. That's 888-772-2929. Take back your financial lives today. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE here on... This live edition of Free Talk Live, live this this weekend. You know, you don't get a lot of live radio on the weekends in America. Free Talk Live, 
We want to make sure that you do. So you can call us at 855-450-FREE. We're talking about a, a saggy pants ban there in <laughs> Alabama. We've also talked about Nick Diaz, who is a UFC fighter, being banned for marijuana smoking. Apparently, many of the presidential candidates have also smoked marijuana. Uh, I'm just talking about a variety of things this evening. It's Mark with you. And Taryn P. Lupo. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to Las Vegas, Taryn. For the, for the October the 29th and 30th, it's the first time that Free Talk Live's ever been done live from Las Vegas. Wow. And we're excited. I'm We're excited. Uh, so I'm going to go out there. I'm going to do the show live. It's from the Bitcoin Investor Conference. And there's going to be all kinds of big names there speaking. Dr. Stephanie Murphy, Trace Mayer, um, uh, Joseph Von Perling, Bitcoin Bell will be there, Stephen Michaels, um, Tone Vase. It's going to be a big deal, and it's going to be a lot of fun happening at the D Hotel in Las Vegas, where you can use Bitcoin to pay for your room and that kind wow. of thing. You can't Very gamble, cool. as I understand it, but I'm going to I'm going to figure that all that out. I'm sure they have a way around that. Yeah, um, with uh, you can you can you gamble. can gamble. You can gamble. <laughs> it's online. <laughs> you believe me, you can gamble. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> So that's BitcoinInvestor.com. Come out what? and hang out with me and do um, while I do the show. I have never been to a Bitcoin conference. What do they do and talk about? Like, uh, what would people be that don't know this world? Different businesses are trotted out um, and different ideas as far as how to use the blockchain, um, you know, different uh, pl ways to invest your Bitcoins and, and make money, telling people about, uh, you know, uh, bitcoins generally all kinds of different it's ideas. mainly um also a lot of vendors with the newest stuff as far as the mining equipment yeah mining equipment's like definitely big there so bitcoininvestor.com come out and hang out let's go to jay calling in from keensburg colorado jay you're on free talk live what's on your mind jay can you hear me now huh. jay i don't know what's going on there put, put jay back <laughs> right, on we'll hold put him on hold i yeah. guess you never know uh, with the uh, the phone lines. It can always be a, a variety of things. So, um, yeah, you know, talking about the fashion police here and in public spaces, it, it sort of took me back to when I got uh, kicked out of school for um, wearing – this was in Florida – You'd think in Florida you could wear short pants to school. You got kicked out for shorts? Yeah, so the shorts, the what? pants pants have to go below your knee was the rule. Is this a Catholic school? No, this was a public school, what? public high school in wow. uh, Bradenton, Florida. And the pants did go below my knees, but only barely below my knees. So what they used as their thing is, is that when I sit, the bottoms of my knees were viewable, so therefore it wasn't acceptable. Wow, really? They cared about that back then? That was the rule. And that, remember, this is this was a nice pair of pants. This was a nice uh, shirt. Um, it wasn't this wasn't me, you know, running around and uh, you know, cutoffs or something like that. And I I got I got sent home. Well, we're pretty broke as a family, and I, I got a lot of hand-me-downs, and uh, we never threw out jeans. Like, as soon as the knees wore out, you just cut them off and made them shorts. And, yeah. And uh, some of those were kind of short. Like, And you know what? Um, the hypocrisy that got me, if you grew up in the 70s and 80s, uh, and even part of the 90s, gym shorts— Gym shorts used to go yeah. all the way up your thigh. Do you remember those, get, little those little get cut polyester on the things? That yeah, I mean, they were— they, exposed some uh, manly parts they're pretty they hugged them well yeah that was uh, and, i mean that uh, was the thing you wore in gym class that was those little was blue uh, gym really, shorts really really revealing and unflattering and uh that was you'd get in trouble for not wearing that the hypocrisy of you know you have to have jeans that go by under your knees and then you go to uh you go running and i don't know if you do you remember like um if you look back in the 80s they had the white tube socks that would go all the way up the th the calves. Yeah, with the colors. With the stripes. Yep. And then the shorts were, were, they had like piping that, and they were cut on the side. So it yep. really did show all the way up the thigh. Like if you look at pictures of Bruce Jenner in the Olympics, you'll see what I'm talking about. I mean, these things were so revealing. And uh, yeah, you'd only see an outfit was, like that in porn now. Um, yeah, I mean, absolutely. Gay, gay uh, porn. Right. Uh, well, <laughs> straight porn, too. The, <laughs> really? girls, uh, the girls are wearing things like that. Oh, well, okay. Okay. Um, I meant those, uh, yeah, those. But but that was just a normal thing to do yeah, to man. kids at the time. And oh, I never God, thought about never thought the first thing about it. Let's so try, humiliating. Let's, let's give Jay, Jay another try here in uh, Keensburg, Colorado. Jay, can you hear me now? I can't hear you. Sorry, I had to take a call. <laughs> well, you had to take a call. Sorry, you, yeah, man. Go yeah. ahead. Hey. But anyways, you guys are talking about people not paying a uh, school portion of the property tax. Yeah, I don't know how you get uh, out of it, but uh, yeah, tell me about that. I would well, love to hear. Uh, I I had a call 
about three days ago from an Amish friend. He lives in Palatine Bridge, New York, okay. which is uh, Montgomery County. Okay. I think it's Montgomery County. Anyways, um, he uh, so he calls me up and he says, "Well, I'm trying to get my my rebate on my school tax, and they're giving me some trouble." He says. And I said, well, "What do you mean rebate and school tax?" He goes, "Well, because I'm Amish, and really? I don't use their schools, they give me a ninety percent rebate on the school tax portion." Huh? And uh. and he said I had, they call it some kind of star program. I said, oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. So, but he said uh, this year when he got when he went down to the clerk's office to fill out the application, I fill it out every year. Um, there was a number, a spot for a social security number, and he just didn't and he doesn't put have one, right? He <laughs> right, he doesn't have one. So they sent him a letter saying that uh, with the application saying you need to put your social security number in the application, or we will not be able to process it. Oh, that's a dirty and, uh, trick, man. So, right. So, so he called me up because he, he, I, um, I hire his boys to help me load hay quite often, and I chat with them a lot about this liberty, you know, liber- liberty things and stuff like that. And you know, they're they just they, they just want to be left alone. They're more voluntary as the Amish community than anything. And uh, so, I if you're Amish and you live in New York and you can provide a social security number. The county will give you back ninety percent of the school tax. Um, how, do you, how do you prove I you're Amish? I, I can tell you that the Amish yeah. folks do have a pretty good lobby. Um, I've, one of my best friends in the world is o- Old Order Amish. Now he left the community, but um, he knows a great deal about them. And yeah, there's uh, they're, they're, the Amish have a lobby. Now they <laughs> there aren't Amish people that go and lobby. They hire lobby firms, but they understand that you know they're not interested in your Social Security. They're not interested in your public schools. They're not interested in a lot. These are bootstrapped Americans. I'm, sadly, they're not listening to me right now because they, <laughs> at least they're not they're not doing it right if they are because they're not you know they don't use radios or television or anything like that and uh, but um regardless of that these these are folks that pave their own way and nobody seems to have a problem with them nobody says oh those amish people not giving us money for their for the school yeah. teachers union but why can't i mean the same aspect if one religion can do it how come every other religion can? right i'm quaker how come why can't, can't i do it, do it? and uh <laughs> And I think that's a good, I, legitimate question, is maybe if you made it into a religious issue, you could push this. It's already got standing. I, I want to see homeschoolers try this upstate New York. I want to see them do it everywhere, obviously, actually. But if they're letting the Amish do it, I think they'd have to let the homeschoolers do it. That's basically what the Amish are doing is they're homeschooling. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, it's it's got standing. Collectives, um, even if they, um, you know, just got to find of what they're doing, yeah. some representatives to do it. That I think where the Amish have a stronger lick is uh, once you tie religion to it, it muddies the water, and people are scared to take that on. Politicians don't want to be the guy labeled going after the Amish who right. had this and, profession, and but the they Amish don't have, care about attacking the homes. The Amish have huge social capital. Right. Like there's, you know, you, you almost never hear. I've heard one negative thing one time out of one per- person's mouth regarding the Amish and what he was mad at. He was a cabinet maker and he was mad that the Amish uh, basically take all his business because they mass produce at lower prices. Now, I don't know how they do it or, or why they do it or any of those things, but uh, that was the one thing one time I've ever heard. And it's still a you know person who wishes price control so i don't even call right. it negative. and and i do know that there are some um there's some counties i think when i was in west virginia once you're over 65 you get your money back that once you hit a certain age they that you can file and you don't have a oh, property I don't know tax anything. anymore i don't know anything about that yeah once you get old enough when they move down to florida they just uh, vote for lower taxes well you know the, they, they the bribe the seniors to vote the schools stink 855 450 free jay thanks for the call 855-450-3733 free talk live Are you suffering with hearing loss? Are you sick of people constantly complaining that your TV is too loud? Are you tired of asking people to speak up? Would you like to hear more clearly, but you don't want to wear a hearing aid that makes you look old? Then you need to try Listen Clear, a life-changing breakthrough precisely designed by top audio engineers to fit your ear almost invisibly. And you can adjust Listen Clear to find the perfect way to hear everything, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. And right now, you can try Listen Clear absolutely risk free with free shipping. We'll even give you free batteries for life. So call now 1 800 719 9349. 
Listen Clear is lightweight and completely hassle-free, and it's practically invisible. Call for your 100% risk-free home trial with free shipping and free batteries for life. For free information, call now. 1-800-719-9349. That's 1-800-719-9349. 1-800-719-9349. Owe $10,000 or more to the IRS? Get on board with the tax admiral. Don't take on the IRS alone. I'll cut penalties and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe $10,000 or more, then call the tax admiral. Call 800-287-7180. Again, that's 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. Uh, no way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9 millimeter bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? Dave found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com. PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. Okay, open your mouth and say, ah. Ah. When your child has a sore throat, you need to know when to get help. The doctor recommended Say Ah Sore Throat Exam is your solution. The scientifically designed oral retractor offers a clear view of the throat, relaxing the tongue and minimizing gag reflex. Compare with a medical grade chart, website, and app. Then you'll know just what to tell your doctor. A wellness plan in your hands in minutes. Go to sayahnow.com. Sayahnow.com, the new mainstay for every family's first aid kit. Atmospheric aluminum, mercury exposure, estrogen toxins from plastics, microwaves from cell phones and smart meters, and low-quality foods all combine to create conditions for the very high incidence of disease in our society. Now more than ever, we all need to be consuming those foods and herbs that epigenetically signal the cells of our body to produce energy, create proteins, and detoxify. When we properly support our bodies, then even in these toxic times, we can promote and achieve excellent health. One World Whey is the first energetically encoded whey protein food derived from Amish pastured cattle on the U.S. market. After three and a half years, we've heard miracles occur for so many people. One World Way has a track record of promoting detoxification, improvement in elimination, and improvements in energy, skin quality, and elimination of inflammation. One World Way is formulated to mirror the macronutrient ratios found in mother's milk. Call 888-988-3325 or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. Yeah! Free Talk Live. 855-450-3733. It's 855-450 free. Talking about saggy pants being banned <laughs> in, uh, is it Daneville? Daneville uh, t- City, Ohio, uh, Illinois, excuse me, um, Alabama. And uh, this happens all over the United States. It's just the most recent of the stories. If you think that it's a good idea to fine young people for the clothes they wear, because this is how this this is these laws never go after old people. They're always aimed at yeah, young people. I'm curious because I've seen some older folks make some terrible fashion decisions, right. and you never hear about them getting in trouble. There's never a law it that says, says that you can't wear salmon polyester slacks up to your above your navel, right? No, yeah. no, no shorts, one ever says that. With with right, yeah, short, socks short and sandals, <laughs> right. socks and sandals. That's a big one because you know you you get bad circulation when you get older, so they all have cold feet. Well, I. <laughs> Sometimes I just slide sandals on. I happen to have socks on, but I never leave my nah. property. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> yeah. 855-450-3733. Uh, if, if, uh, something that might change your life, though, if you're from, if you've got a driver's license, because you don't have to be from a place to necessarily have a driver's license from a, one of those places, from New York, Louisiana, Minnesota, New Hampshire, or the ubiquitous American Samoa, then you may not be, um, that license, driver's license may not be enough to get you onto a domestic commercial flight. What? Generally, in New Hampshire? We have, yeah, New Hampshire opted out of Real oh, ID the, back the, in 2006. So they're punishing the states that didn't play along with the Real ID. They may be. They're still just ruffling. Mm, I think I think that's going to be a tough one to push. Yeah, I think it is too. Um, I th- but it's uh, it it does. You, you ought to know this yeah. if you're if you're from one of these states um, and you've got a driver's license in one of these states. You know, Arizona has a driver's license. If you get it at 18, you don't need to renew that thing until 65. Uh, to you're 65 years old. Wow. Yeah. So you don't have to pay. You don't have to deal with that. What's the point of renewing a license if you don't have some kind of thing, um, you know, going against you, right? I mean, I haven't... Just to change the picture, I guess, to make it more current looking. Yeah, I, I can't know. even remember doing eyesight tests or anything like oh, that. yeah, the eyesight. It uh, seems like, you know, like you well, might we, check I just in, went right? with my girlfriend to get a license uh, yesterday. She she finally changed over her Did license. Did she have to take tests? And now she transferred from Minnesota to here, uh-huh. and all she had to do was the eye test. Okay. But so now, maybe they're checking the eye tests. Yeah. and uh, they I suppose do, that makes more sense than most of government programs I've ever heard about. Well, if you let the license expire, then you got to put up with all the BS and take the driving and the uh, written test again and all that. But if you haven't expired... You're just changing it out, then you're good to go. Well, I think that the written uh, test and the driving test are uh, best explained away by drivers under the age of 18. Um, You know, they can pass. They're the ones who most recently pass these tests and the ones who get in the most accidents. That, Fair enough. Yeah, those the tests, highest insurance rates. They don't particularly make you good or bad um, at driving. Frankly, I took driver's ed at 16 years old, and the teacher gave me, uh, my mother decided she wasn't going to teach me to drive because there's driver's ed. You'll go there and you'll learn. Now, she didn't know, I didn't know, that they were going to uh, grade me based on how well I drove. So <laughs> I got a B in the class. Everybody else got A's um, in, in, my, <laughs> in my car. Everybody else got an A because I really didn't know how to drive. I had not yet learned. I was going to driver's education class in the summer to learn how to drive and for some reason, and this was this is summer school, so I'm we're doing it all day, and it's basically for four days. Four days is all that I did. Got my driver's education for, um, in the the driving portion, and yeah, I didn't improve a lot in those four days because I didn't really know how to drive. <laughs> so, um, you know, I mean, it's just it, the these tests that they give eh, not particularly effective in making sure somebody can drive or not. I get the vision test. Yeah, the vision, I, I agree with. Uh, and then, you know, it, this is a weird thing, too, because I came to New Hampshire, and they make you do um, car inspections every year to make sure your car is not a death trap. And there's a lot of states that don't do that. Yeah, like, I Florida, haven't had to do that in a long time. In and, Florida, they don't have inspections. You think that the highways would be littered with uh, broken cars, but they're not. Well, if I These remember, it was such a racket. Make work, they're make-work programs for mechanics. Yeah, they're the ones that voted in for, you know, safety reasons, and then the state gets a little cut. You know, of of each of these tests, and it's just another revenue source. And it always makes me wonder. I would love to find some states that got rid of that stuff because you know I There's drove. There's lots of them. I, I, they just never put them in. I don't think they had them and took them out. Did Florida they? had inspections. Absolutely, and they took them out. Yeah, I remember what the stickers looked like on my mom's uh, '71 Cutlass um, in metallic racing brown with a cabrio top. I remember wow. where the sticker was and what it looked like. Yeah. All right, so I didn't know that. I didn't. It was in the 80s, I think. I, it's so rare 80s. when a government program goes away that's making money for, you know, the government and politicians. That it, it, the it, bureaucrats' retirements are being funded by this. Right. I mean, you know, one of the most recent ones is Obamacare, right? I mean, you know, you're forced now to fund insurance companies. Well, for my family, we've managed to figure out a way uh, around it, and it's called Liberty Health Share. What it is, what a health share is, is it's an organization where people share the costs of medical care. You choose your own doctor and you choose your own hospital, but the costs are deferred in the same way that they are with insurance, except that there isn't all the overhead. They don't have the big offices and the secretaries and the glass buildings and all these things. Um, so it's and, much more affordable than insurance, you're Yeah, saying. for us, 
it was a bit over half of what insurance would have been for this. The Obamacare insurance is half the price. Yes, we, we actually checked pre Obamacare, but um, we, you know, I think All my right. wife, I, I don't enough. know, about that same time. LibertyHealthShare.org. If you uh, if you pay for your own insurance, you owe it to yourself to check this out, because it's well, I can say it's been working for us. LibertyHealthShare.org. Eight five five fifty eight Liberty. Eight five five fifty eight Liberty. LibertyHealthShare.org. Getting back to these driver's licenses that may not be good for domestic flights, this is from travelandleisure.com. Starting in 2016, 10 years after Real ID was instituted, <laughs> travelers from five U.S. states will not be able to use their driver's licenses as IDs to board domestic flights. A pretty major development considering an estimated 38% of Americans don't have passports. I'm surprised the numbers that high that they're what they're claiming is is that uh 62 percent of americans do have passports i'm not sure how this is going to play out because oh, i yeah, mean they, work. they well i mean i would have said the same thing about full body porno scanners in the airport and uh they forced that issue in when people didn't want it um so i wonder if they're just going to play the same card of oh you got to do it to protect us from terrorists and uh you know, starting this year, everybody has to have a passport. It'll be this big push, and they'll let the first year or two go by. Of They've know, let the first year or two go by. It's, well, it's, it's 2006 yeah, that this just passed. It's 10 years now. But I, I don't know how that's going to work because it's a federal deal. Like, you know, normally the state can be like, nah, we're not going to play this game. We're not going to get involved. But um, I well, guess the state can fight back by just saying, you know, I guess you guys can't fly in here. Yeah, I suppose watch the, what happens. the state could pull whatever licensing there is from the uh, the local airports in that uh, state, and then see. Then the FAA, F, FC, FAA is going to be they're going to flip their lid. I mean, you know, yeah. and uh, that that'll force the. I don't that'll think that'll force. I mean, I think ultimately the power, you know, the state can veto it that way. Yeah, by, this was an unfunded mandate. And here in New Hampshire, it is law that New Hampshire does not participate in it. And it's going to be very, very, very difficult for the federal government to kind of work their way around. Well, I think there's a story about every year that says national ID is coming. And yeah, you're going yeah, to be forced to take it. it. And, you know, I've heard this this crying wolf for 10 years now. So, And the scariest thing about Real ID was is it made the uh, whoever, I think it was the, the head of the Department of Ham- Homeland Security, it gave them the power to decide what was going to be the identifying factors on the driver's license. So if they wanted thumbprints, they'd be on there. Can you imagine the federal government having access, Decisions. access oh. to all your information? Because they lose their information as much as anybody does. I'm surprised the thumbnails not aren't, aren't on passports already. You thumbprints, know what, yep. Well, you know what really disturbed me is I hadn't been on a cruise in a long time, and I think I took one like four or five years ago, and just to get out of the country, you had to sit in front of a webcam, and they took a picture of your face, and just to leave now, you can't, like, they, they make you sit in front of a webcam and smile, and so they know all your comings and goings, and they run it against a computer program, and I'm sure they're, you know, checking facial recognition, and I mean, that's really disturbing to me, that I can't just travel without being categorized. Well, they they certainly want to know where people are coming and going. Um, governments are always about that, and they I, they they act like they have more rights at borders. Um, mm, yeah, they know. sure as hell heck do. They uh, they throw your rights right away, uh, and and you, they got you at a very vulnerable position because you're coming in from another country. You just want to get home. You just want to get home. You're willing to put up with whatever junk that they make you go through just to get in. And if they don't, then you're stuck. You know, what are you going to do? They one of their drug around. dogs ate my Fritos one time uh, coming through. <laughs> yeah, I'd want to eat my banana. <laughs> Thinking government bureaucrat <laughs> dog. Beagles. This one was a uh, uh, Springer Spaniel. 855-450. Actually, uh, Brittany Spaniel. Excuse me. 855-450. Free. Free Talk Live. 855-450-3733. If you expect secure, privacy-oriented services and real human support from your web hosting provider, choose Virtual Space International. From domain names and SSL certificates to offshore banking accounts, Virtual Space International has been the all-in-one, multi-language solution for over 25 years. And satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. We even accept Bitcoin. Find out how to get 50% off for life at SaveTimeHosting.com. Want gold but also want to stay digital and decentralized on the Bitcoin blockchain? Anthem Vault. 
providing trusted, world-class vaulting, has your answer with Hayek Gold. Digital, spendable gold inspired by economist and free market philosopher F.A. Hayek. Each Hayek is worth one gram of gold and is available right now at AnthemVault.com. Sign up today at AnthemVault.com with promo code FREEDOM to earn six months of free storage and 5% off all margins for life. Hayek Gold at AnthemVault.com. Get yours today. Extend your life with Extendovite. Hey, neighbor, what are you doing digging? You had a heart attack last year. Oh, I know. I was told no more hard labor. Then why are you digging? Well, I've been taking Extendivite. It's been approved to help my heart. Extendivite? Is that a new drug? No, not a drug. It's uh, more like an herbal combination made from garlic and cayenne. Herbal? How can that help? Well, actually, we've taken herbs for thousands of years. Extendivite is doing the job for me. Does your doctor know about Extendivite? Yeah, my doctor knows, and he said it seems to be working for you, so don't stop taking it. I feel great taking Extendivite. I don't want to stop. To order, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822. Or visit our website at heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extendivite. Listening to GCN, the world leader in independent talk radio. News this hour from townhall.com. I'm Ron Foster. At the Iowa Faith and Freedom Coalition event this afternoon, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump says he doesn't think that he should have corrected the man at Thursday's town hall meeting who referred to President Obama as a Muslim. I started by saying, am I morally obligated to defend the president every time somebody says something bad or controversial about him? I don't think so, right? Meanwhile, Trump says he should not have corrected that man. He said he called it a no-win situation. While at the Democratic Party convention in New Hampshire today, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders told supporters that he's ready to take on the, quote, billionaire class. Certainly sounds like some people are ready for a political revolution. Bail's been set at $1 million for the man suspected in a string of highways shootings in the Phoenix area. Prosecutor Edward Leiter told Judge Lisa Roberts this afternoon that Leslie Merritt Jr. needs to be kept behind bars. What this suspect has is alleged to have committed creates such a substantial fear in the community at large that it justifies the cash bond. 21-year-old Merritt told, told the court he did not have the weapon during the time of the shootings and that it had been in a pawn shop the last two months, but police say they can forensically connect that gun to the shootings. Pope Francis is spending his first night in Cuba after arriving from Rome this afternoon. He's scheduled to come to the U.S. Tuesday where he'll speak before a joint session of Congress on Wednesday and then the U.N. General Assembly on Thursday as part of his 10-day trip. And Canada's conservative government says it will not accept more than its previously announced commitment of 10,000 Syrian refugees, but it will say it will accelerate processing their applications. More on these stories at townhall.com. There's no better way to bring in customers than with postcards and flyers. You can say a little or say a lot. And these days, if you're looking for the best selection and the best value, the best choice is to go online and do it yourself at Vistaprint.com. In fact, right now at Vistaprint.com, you can get 500 postcards starting at just $24.99. That's right, 500 postcards, $24.99. At Vistaprint.com, you'll find all the right sizes and finishes and an expanded range of paper stocks. So you can go basic or go brilliant. And you can do it all quickly and confidently with easy uploads, quick design tools, complimentary design support, and an absolute guarantee that we stand by everything we sell every time for any reason or we'll make it right. So make the smart choice, get the best value, visit Vistaprint.com today and be sure to enter promo code marketing so you can get your 500 postcards starting at just $24.99. But hurry, because while this deal is here today, it expires September 30th. So go to Vistaprint.com today and enter promo code marketing. 
The Treasury Department will announce by the end of this year which woman will become the first on U.S. paper currency in more than a century. Treasury Secretary Jacob Liu set off a furor in June when he announced that he would replace the portrait of Alexander Hamilton on the $10 bill with a woman. He said a month later that the Treasury has gotten more than 1.5 million responses commenting on the change, everything from tweets to handwritten letters. Treasury officials are not saying what famous women are in the running to be placed on the $10 bill, but one official says that many of the letters have included passionate arguments. They say the redesign effort will eventually include other currency denominations. Keith Peters, Washington. Saudi Arabia says some 100,000 security personnel have been deployed to oversee the annual Hajj pilgrimage that begins on Tuesday. The Hajj is expected to draw up to 3 million people from around the world to Mecca. News and analysis at townhall.com. I'm Ron DeRockstra. The Black Lives Matter Network will not make a presidential endorsement this year, but will keep up its political activism by confronting candidates about the treatment of African Americans in the United States. That's according to the group's founder, Alicia Garza. She also says the organization will press ahead with protests and interruptions during the 2016 campaign. Garza says that sometimes you have to put a wrench in the gears to get people to listen. Black Lives Matter activists grabbed headlines when they disrupted a Seattle rally last month before Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders was about to speak. Patrick Foss reporting. A Texas man who called police to say his pickup was vandalized with Black Lives Matter graffiti was arrested after cops say he did the damage himself in order to get insurance money. Police in Whitney, about 75 miles south of Dallas, say they got suspicious of Scott Latin when they noticed discrepancies in his story. More on these stories at townhall.com. We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-261-0937. That's 800-261-0937. It's Free Talk Live. And uh, what we're talking about here, by the way, it's Mark with you. And Taryn P. Lupo. Live here this Saturday evening. You can call in and talk about whatever you want here on Free Talk Live. What we're talking about right now um, is, well, it looks like there are five states or five places in America that uh, the driver's licenses won't be good anymore come 2016 to fly. That's the claim from Leisure... Um, and travel.com. I'm skeptical as to whether this will come about because this this story has come about a few times since 2006 when the Real ID Act was uh, slipped in on the American people at like midnight. Um, it's, it was a really crappy law and it's one of those that was tagged on to something else. But the idea is, is that you won't be able to use driver's licenses from Minnesota, American Samoa, New Hampshire, New York, and Louisiana uh, to fly domestically, and you'll have to have a passport. And 38 percent of people, Americans, don't have passports. So they, you know, big scary story. Do you feel that you have the right to travel domestically? And is this a, um, I mean, is this a violation of people's rights? Do Americans have the right to travel within America without having to show their papers, according to the government? And I think it's an interesting question, and you can give us your answer at 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE because it's contrary to the law. Let's go to John calling in from Carson City, Nevada. John, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hi, guys. I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, group differences. Uh, when we look at individuals, I mean, I would think it should be pretty uncontroversial that some people are smarter than others, that 
uh, say Kim Kardashian is not as smart as Einstein was. Uh, but, but yeah, not too many people as smart as Einstein. At least, uh, you know, he, he certainly had some amazing uh, uh, things that he discovered. But some people are smarter than others. Yes. Okay. Now, this doesn't really present any special problems for libertarianism. We don't need people to shy away from the issue that some people are smarter than others. Um, and uh, there's, you know, it doesn't have any, it doesn't have any real effect on how we view people as individuals in terms of rights. Because no, it doesn't. But I would like to point out that 90 percent of people, when asked, believe they have above average intelligence. Now, that oh, is, by yeah, its definition, impossible. What's that? Pretty clearly, most of those people are wrong. Right, forty percent right. of them are. Yeah, yeah, right, sure. So yes, people are wrong about many things. Now, uh, if 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 people can have uh, different levels of intelligence, and that doesn't present any any uh, special problems for uh, libertarianism, and it's not a particularly scary idea, why does it seem so scary and controversial that different uh, that different ethnic or racial groups might have different levels of intelligence. Because um, it's obvious at that point. So when I go on the air and I say, stupid people are stupid, folks are like, yeah, stupid people are stupid. 90% of people say, yes, yes, that's the case. Or maybe even more than that. Um, because intelligence is not one thing, but it's a variety of things. So, for instance, you don't want me doing your engineering, but most people would agree I'm a pretty smart guy. I believe, like 90% of Americans, that I am above average intelligence. But I don't think intelligence really predicts how your state of happiness in life and how far you go as far as— well, um, But that's not, what John, that's not the question John's asking here. Um, what he's, he's asking he's is, saying is, why, why can't does it present we, a problem? Yeah, why can't we actually discuss that there's different levels of intelligence and— uh, I and guess he's equating is, it to races, too, different levels of intelligence, different races. Is that your question? Yeah, and, and, and my question, I, I guess I have a question of, about something I thought I heard Mark say earlier, but I wasn't sure. Is it, is it uh, for instance, when I say, like, A is smarter than B, this person is smarter than B, does that, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm saying that they're superior, or, you know, they're, they're superior in one sense. But they're not superior in terms of rights or anything like that. But if if I say if if there is if there are differences between groups and say one group uh, has higher average intelligence than another, is it racist to say that? I think by by its definition that that is racism um, to say that uh, you know some group is superior to another group in a particular way. Um, now I'm not saying racist in a bad way. I'm saying racist by its definition. Yeah, I mean, you are dividing by races and by uh, doing that, but and claiming that one is superior to the other. I'm not but here's sure what the, the point is. The difference is calling an individual um, saying that an individual is smarter, an individual is dumb, is or that. Uh, you know, the saying that there are dumb people out there is that people don't self-identify that way. They don't say, oh, yeah, I'm one of the dumb people. He's being mean to me. If you say that a person of a particular race is dumb, then a person can look at their skin and say, huh, turns out I'm that. And like, for instance, my son, he's part black. He's part Asian. He's part Jewish. He's part white. He's part all of these things. And it doesn't mean anything about him particularly. So if you're talking about bell curves as the uh, the, the 1996 book uh, out there that uh, so famously said that, uh, you know, some ethnic groups are smarter than other ethnic groups or score higher on IQ tests. Um, it's, you know, when you're talking about bell curves, people show up different places in bell curves. Well, absolutely. If, say, if, uh, if, uh, blacks are on average, uh, smart, uh, uh, if whites are on average more intelligent than blacks, that doesn't mean there aren't hundreds of blacks who aren't smarter than you. Sure. Uh, you know, that, uh, just as, you know, uh, because that's exactly what the bell curve means. That each each uh, gr each uh, group has a has a distribution of people. And what's and, the point uh, of the they, conversation, though? I mean, I think everybody, uh, you know, they, they know that there are people who are smarter than other people. What's the point? As I tell my wife often, when she treats me like I'm stupid, is is that look, 
Stupid people do not appreciate your intelligence when you treat them like they're dumb. Um, you know, like yeah, when I get I that, t- that tone of voice from her, I'm not like, you know what I feel? I feel edified. It's it. Uh, it's not that these things don't exist. It's just why harp on them, bring them to light, and and make people feel bad as a group. Well, I think these. I think group differences are relevant to many social issues. For instance, we have there's a very popular uh, meme out there that says uh, uh, women make only seventy percent of what men make. But it's disprovable. This- what? It's disprovable. Uh, Time magazine and many other major uh, journalistic uh, uh, endeavors have shown that women do not make less than men when you figure in, you know, time at the office, you figure in, um, you know, which careers we're talking about and a a variety of other factors. At that point, it gets even. It's only disprovable if you look at differences between the groups, between different choices that are being made in the groups. And, uh, and, And so... And so you do need to address group differences. The, 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 their argument says, well, men make this much altogether. Women make this much altogether. There's no difference between the groups. Therefore, uh, women make 70% of what men make for the same work. You have to look at group differences to, uh, to dispute the argument. And when, uh, you know, so... When people yep. say, well... But that argument matters. That's people's paycheck. <laughs> and and also I want to point this out is really what is intelligence in a sense that you're saying, okay, I scored well on factors. this. Yeah, I scored on this test that, you know, uh, that that proves I'm intelligent. And I just disagree with, that just shows how well you can take a test. I don't think it really displays your intelligence. I, well, I, I think it's pretty nebulous to think that a test can tell you how smart someone is. Well, Murray and Harstein went to great lengths to show that the test had a significant predictive value of, for, of further uh, achievement. Right, but it's an achievement. It, it's a test that supposedly, look, I don't know, and I'm only going to repeat uh, talking points here. It's a test that is written by white people for white people and uh, based on the achievement that white people can make. Yeah. Well, you know, you could also say that Free Talk Live is a show by white people. Yeah. I don't claim to have a race. Yeah, I'm a, well, I'm Italian. I don't know if I count as white. I'm going to identify you as anyway, Mark. Thanks so much, John. I appreciate the call. Bye, buddy. 855 450 3733. It's 855 450 free. Free Talk Live. You can call in with your opinion. LRN.FM on Skype. Free Talk Live. Oh, yeah. I keep. If you own a business, you know incorporating can be a smart way to protect yourself and your assets. So the question is, why haven't you incorporated your business yet? My business? It's too small. Wrong. No matter how small your business, you run the risk of losing all your personal assets, your car, your home, even your entire life savings if you're not incorporated. Incorporating is very complicated. Actually, incorporating is easy and fast. You can do it in just 10 minutes. Call now for your free guide from incorporate.com. 1-800-945-8645. I need a lawyer to incorporate. That's really expensive. You don't need a lawyer, and we don't offer legal or financial advice. Incorporate.com is a service company whose only mission is helping people like you incorporate safely, easily, and quickly. Find out how simple it is to protect your family and personal assets by incorporating. Call now for your free guide. 1-800-945-8645. 1-800-945-8645. That's 1-800-945-8645. That's the sound your brain makes when you realize you're buying something and forgot the coupon. Online or in a store, knowing that you're missing a deal is the worst. You need the app from Retail Me Not right now. Get thousands of coupons from 50,000 stores like Kohl's, Domino's, Best Buy, and more with crazy deals like 60% off, free shipping, and free gifts with purchase. You can get a text invite to download the Retail Me Not app 100% free right now for Apple or Android. Just text the code UPDATE to 42767. Then just show your phone at checkout to save. It literally couldn't be easier. It's 2015. Keep your coupon in your phone. Stop what you're doing and text UPDATE to 42767. Listeners will get a text with a link to download it 100% free. Never forget another coupon again. Text the code UPDATE to 42767 right now. That's 
Update to 42767. Message and data rates may apply. For terms and privacy, visit RetailMeNot.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to produce an endless supply of nano-sized silver solutions right from the convenience of your home. Silver Lungs. With the addition of our unique lung delivery system, respiratory infections are targeted directly, where traditional oral administration simply cannot reach. This pioneering method also preserves the original particle sizes and delivers your silver solution directly into the bloodstream. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. Sciatica, lower back pain, hip pain, poor posture. If you suffer from any of these problems, get ready to relax. Introducing an amazing product that's been in the market for over 25 years, the Sacro Wedgie. It was invented by a football coach using a common sense osteopath technique. He created this device to help his athletes by isolating and supporting the sacrum, which is the keystone of our anatomy. This wedge-shaped bone is in the center of our hips, where a lot of pain starts. Simply relax 20 minutes daily on the amazingly simple Sacro Wedgie and let gravity do the work, helping muscles rebalance and start releasing nerves. Sit in the sacro wedgie at the computer or while traveling to help correct posture to finally help relieve those stubborn aches and pains for only $33.95. It's made in the USA, so click the family-owned website at sacrowedgie.com, spelled S-A-C-R-O-W-E-D-G-Y.com, or call 1-800-737-9295. That's 1-800-737-9295. Relax your back pain away with the sacro wedgie. Ready Supply Food sells more food for your money than any other company, and we can prove it. We've gathered nutritional facts from our competitors' own websites and divided them by price to show you how much they sell per dollar. In an emergency, calories mean survival. Ready Supply Food sells 245 calories per dollar, where the others average only 155. That's 58% more for your money. We're the new leader in value and quality. See the comparisons at ReadySupplyFoods.com today. Now, more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live. The number is 855-450-3733. It's 855-450 free. A variety of topics have uh, been put on the table here this evening. Free Talk Live. And, of course, you can bring up what you want to talk about. Intelligence, what is it, is uh, one of the topics. Saggy pants banned in in an Alabama town. Real ID, apparently it's come to rear its ugly head again. Um, and the claim is is that uh, people from four states, four, four states and one territory, will not be able to use their driver's license to fly uh, domestically. And I gotta kind of wonder whether you, don't you have the right to fly domestically? So apparently, all these- not without going through a radiation scan and everything else. So I, they're just gonna tack it on. I mean, Taryn, you uh, produce independent video. I do. Tell me about it. Um. This week's story, uh, currently I've been spotlighting New Hampshire life, as in like small towns and things going on here, because a lot of people want to move here for the Free State Project, and they want to see more than just activism. They want to know like what's going on. Um, so I have a YouTube channel that's pretty popular. I'm almost at about 7 million hits. If you look me up, wow. Taryn Lupo, it's T-A-R-R-I-N-L-U-P-O, or you can go to TarynLupo.com. And you can see my latest story, which is on a small engine festival. Now, what a small engine festival is, is, um, oh gosh, it's like all these old folks that love tractors and engines and these things that were running on, you know, uh, turn of the century. Turn of the last, uh, the, the, yeah, the, it, the century before it, last. It's almost like you walked into a steampunk convention, but they're real engines and stuff. And yeah. it's and so And there's no steampunks, cool. it's just a bunch of old people. Yeah, a bunch of old people. I'm sure the <laughs> steampunks would love it, though. Uh, but... It, these it sounds like oh man you know uh, boring who wants to look at tractors but these aren't normal tractors these are like a hundred year old antique things that are that uh, look like robots when they go where by. do people find it and on terranlupo.com Taren Lupo Taren T A T A R R I N L U P O terranlupo.com you can just just Google that on uh, YouTube let's you'll see it yeah let's go to uh, Will calling in on Skype Will you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, what's up, Mark? How you guys doing? Hi, what's on your mind, Will? Well, I wanted to comment on the the real ID, but then the uh, the caller before, I wanted to to actually comment on what he was saying. What was he I saying? Have, uh, Reset us. Well, 
Well, well, when he was talking, when you guys were discussing, you know, uh, how test taking ability doesn't really uh, denote your actual intelligence, and I, I would have to agree with that sentiment coming from you guys from personal experience. I have an uncle who who just passed it away about two years ago in his mid nineties, and he never graduated high school. Uh, yet when he decided he wanted a boat, he went to see how much a boat cost. It cost too much money. So he was going to build it himself when he went to see how much it cost to draft plans. That cost too much. So the man literally went to the library and taught himself drafting, built a seaworthy boat that actually weathered a hurricane while they were out in it on its maiden voyage, and built this with his own hands. Decided he wanted to build um, greenhouses out in the middle of the Ocala National Forest didn't want to have to pay the money they wanted to they wanted right. to build them so he taught himself to build a pipe bender like something that would form pipes in a uniform fashion at a cer at certain angles and yeah. built his own greenhouse they have little ones for conduit when you're running wire yeah yeah i mean um, i i have four. he didn't want to pay to 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 the the cost of of having one so he he built one himself that he could hand crank and and all of this from a man who had no high school education, wasn't a great test taker, wasn't, you know, um, raised in a common core, you know, the greatness of common core, you know, federalized education system, uh, but yet was able to have the ingenuity to build boats, build greenhouses, build basically anything that he wanted to, whatever he set his mind to, because he had the will and the drive simply to do so. I would agree. I think that intelligence takes all kinds of different forms, and you never, uh, you don't discount people. This is one of the things that I tend to do. I get short with people, yeah. and I don't have much time in my life for bad ideas. And I tend to, once I've heard a, a bad idea to uh, or two come out of your mouth, like I'm done with you. You know, like I just that's how I feel. But the fact is, is that. You know, there's every – if you're saying that there's, uh, say, 20 different types of intelligence and that intelligent people are 5% uh, of the population, well, if – if you only can have one type of intelligence, and obviously that wouldn't be the case, but in that case, um, that an intelligent person is five, the top 5% of the population, there's 20 different types of intelligence, you have everybody essentially being a genius. And I'm not going to go so, quite so far as to say everybody's a genius, but I'm going to go so far as to say, you know, people got their own gifts, and to call intelligence one thing like, um, you know, analogies right. or something like that is ridiculous. I, I've got almost 15 years of higher education. I mean, I've got about as much education as a person can get in my field. And I can tell you that I hang out with some of the smartest people on the planet and they're only smart in one thing. You talk about anything else and they just are clueless. So book smart, man, just uh, it doesn't cut it. I'm sure our, our callers are way smarter than me and I have all this education. Will, I do appreciate the call. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, no, Will. 855-450-3733. <laughs> Let's go to Scott calling in from Charleston, South Carolina. Scott, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Good evening, gentlemen. I'm going to give you kind of a contra-opposing view. Go right ahead. Um, Doctor, I'm, I'm, this is just the first night I'm getting acquainted with you. Oh, hi. oh yeah, Free Talk doctor. Live is uh, has, has, is is uh, on the air seven nights a week, and you can find us at freetalklive.com. Go ahead. I, doctor, are you a medical doctor? No, I'm actually a chiropractor, but I have a diplomate uh, okay, that's, in clinical that's nutrition. Fine. That's, that's fine, but um, it's I, I don't understand. I mean, the caller before this was, he was talking in broad generalities about distributions and bell curves, and it came up. Um. And you keep a repetitive theme tonight is you keep apologizing about your intelligence and your ability to take tests. I'm not apologizing um, for it. I'm darn good at taking tests, and I am darn smart. No, I, I think he's talking to me, Mark. As I okay. said, uh, I said it doesn't necessarily mean I'm smart. I'm just really good at taking tests. Okay. Right. Are Are you? If I was one of your patients, should I? Oh, this guy just uh, crams for a test and and uh, doesn't really understand the science of chiropractic. No, or, uh, what it is is I think um, they purposely put massive amounts of hoops up. Out of the 10 years of education it takes to get to that point, you really only need about six months, and most of that could have been done as an apprenticeship. All of it is a repeat, repeat, repeat. 
and making you jump through hoops just to know hoops. These days with the internet, I can look up any disease. I don't have to have every single thing memorized in my head like, you know, you had to in 1950. Being smart is and, knowing where to look for the answer. Yeah, and that's that's what it is. Is uh, So if a patient was like, oh, well, he says he's not the smartest, sure, I can, but I also oh, believe there's that there are some patients that would be attracted to my honesty of, oh, this doctor doesn't think, you know, he's so arrogant that he knows everything. Doctor, there there are some, there's some elements to what you said, and that's good, and I appreciate that. But, um, you know, in, in your practice or a medical practice or an engineering practice, you can't say, well, you know, Bill, your guess is as good as mine. But what I think you should do is, and I'll give you an example. You yeah, know, there, there are certain disciplines, there are certain disciplines you, you just need to go to school for. Scott, like engineering. There are, there are a few disciplines. There's no doubt about it. I do appreciate the call, sir. We're running up on a hard break here. Uh, keep right listening. Back. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live, your thoughts on intelligence. Owe oh, $10,000 or more to the IRS? Get on board with the tax admiral. Don't pick on the IRS alone. I'll cut penalties and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe $10,000 or more, then call the tax admiral. Call 800-287-7180. Again, that's 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. If you're like me, you're concerned about the stock market and the economy. You're asking the questions, but it just doesn't seem that you're getting the right answers. Well, my friends at the Wealth Preservation Institute not only have the answers, but they've put together a free report, How to Survive the Upcoming Economic Collapse and Protect Your 401Ks, IRA Savings, and Retirement Income. Don't hesitate. This report's for free for a limited time by calling 888-772-2929. That's 888-772-2929. Take back your financial lives today. Do you have difficulty taking supplements? Are you searching for a high-quality, complete nutritional drink that your whole family will love? Nutramedical's Life Support has arrived. All of your daily nutritional requirements in one quick, delicious drink. Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support is a proprietary blend of vegan protein, activated vitamins, essential minerals, amino acids, probiotics, green tea, digestive enzymes, anti-inflammatories, cancer prevention, detoxification, and much more. Your body will high-five you for this one. Life Support is the best complete nutritional meal replacement on the market. Whether you are an elite athlete, have post-operative challenges, chronic illness, elderly, or a family that just wants a quick, delicious drink, try Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support for optimized nutrition in one great tasting smoothie. Just add cold water, almond milk, fruit, or anything else you like. Nutramedical's Life Support. Try our great tasting chocolate or vanilla today. Call 888-212-8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Nutramedical.com for the whole family. So I found out the other day that at Guns80.com, a lot of people don't get the Ghost AR-15 rifle kits because they're afraid that they won't be able to do the machining work required to drill out and make ready the lower. Well, listen, guys, gals, I am not that good of a machinist, I promise you. But I was able to take a drill press with an XY table and knock this out in about 45 minutes, and in all honesty, mine looks really good. Go get yours. Don't be afraid. It's easy. Guns80.com. Go to Guns80.com now. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just $19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV just recently, we've witnessed some of the most catastrophic disasters in history. Be sure to prepare yourself with great-tasting, high-quality, GMO-free food that has a 25-year shelf life. Of course, we're talking about the foods from SurvivalFoodAlliance.com. And don't forget, the human body needs up to three quarts of water every day to remain healthy and hydrated. 
So check out our water bricks at survivalfoodalliance.com. Go to survivalfoodalliance.com or call 877-223-1776. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll free. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live. The number is 855-450-3733. It's Mark with you. And Taryn P. Lupo. You can go ahead and call in about whatever's on your mind. What we've been talking about is sort of what is intelligence? Yeah. How does intelligence present itself? Um, also, real ID and apparently some states on driver's licenses aren't going to be good enough to get on airplanes. That's scary to me. Saggy, saggy pants being banned, these kind of things. It's all over the place tonight here on Free Talk Live, as it normally is. We're on seven nights a week That's from right. 7P to 10P. We may not be on your local station. That's fine. Tell them you like Free Talk Live. Give them a call and uh, tell them you'd like a little more. That's fine. Also, we're available at uh, freetalklive.com. If you've called in, you want to hear your call, Free Talk Live puts its uh, podcast up at about, uh, you know, it's, by, by tomorrow morning, the podcast will be up. And you can download the podcast and hear what you sounded like on the radio, if that's what you're, you're into. There are multiple ways to enjoy the show. Also, we have a live webcam going on at LRN.FM. And if you want to see the behind the scenes and what we do at break, you can actually sign on to my Periscope. So just look me up at Twitter, at Taryn Lupo, at T-A-R-R-I-N-L-U-P-O. Right now, there's a live feed, and you can see me and Mark in studio and uh, Jazzy the studio dog, and uh, you can even ask us questions through Periscope. So that's going on right now. Don't forget. I told you I was going to tell you how to get some Bitcoins at a very low rate. Uh, now, you can use Bitcoins to save 20 25 30% uh, things you purchase uh, through Amazon, uh, every, so pretty much everything you need in your life at saveitpurse.com, but you can get those Bitcoins through expresscoin.com. Uh, it's Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin. They make it fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive. Whether you're in the U.S. or Canada, you can buy Bitcoins with a money order or a check. I've done a great deal of business with them. I trust them implicitly. You just start off at ExpressCoin.com. You can even, uh, they even have an app. Make it easy for you. Use coupon code FTL to get $40 worth of your favorite cryptocurrency at no fee. Coupon code FTL, ExpressCoin.com. They make it easy for you. Let's go to Dion calling in from, is it Red Deer, Canada? Dion, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how you doing? What's on your mind? I'm good. Like to, good, good. I'd like to throw in just my two cents of work there on the intelligence bit. No pun. Go right ahead. But, uh, uh, for myself, you know, I'm I'm a good math and science person. I, I test pretty good, you know. Um, for I've done a, a good handful of IQ tests. I've kind of sought out on the Internet. And... And that's all fine and dandy, but like for me, I only consider myself half smart because I can't, uh, you know, draw or do a portrait. Um, I can't strum the guitar to save my life. I can't swim to save my life. <laughs> so there's plenty of things that an IQ test doesn't come anywhere near covering. Uh, a lot of it being the creative things, yeah. and and I don't see why you know where people score on IQ tests, which is a lot of what people are referring to when they say intelligence. They sure are. Uh, yeah. When you mentioned, you know, what is intelligence? I agree I, with you. Appreciate I agree. The call, Dan. I, I think most people are really hung up on this IQ score, and uh, you know, I've taken an IQ test multiple times, and I come back with completely different scores each time. It's never like the same. Well, they aren't always on the, even the same, and, uh, you know, same spectrum. They they'll have different numbers yeah. and that sort of thing. Some don't of them put, don't even have numbers. Some of them say average, above average, uh, significantly above of average. You know, things it like that. Really bothers me that we try to quantify how smart people are. I understand why people it, want to do it. I, I mean, I get it. I, I do, but it, because it's nice to be able to put a comparison or for studies. But um, I really think that if people believe that, it, it cages them into some sort of uh, – takes away their ability to prosper, I think. If you buy into it, uh, oh, that's my race, and you know nobody else around me is doing this good. and you can, you can have a pity party for yourself and stay there because you think you're not smart. Colin T. calling in from Lynchburg, Virginia. T., you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, yeah. Um, I actually went to Liberty, um, and then I switched over to UVA and uh, Virginia. Liberty University? Yeah, and then okay. I switched over to uh, 
UVA, and um, I got a bachelor's in psychology and specializations in uh, Myers-Briggs and personality. And um, I could say that... Um, what, what's, that your Myers-Briggs? what's your Myers-Briggs? What's your Myers-Briggs? Mine is um, INFJ. Okay. Yours is probably ESTJ. Am I right? ESTP. ESTP is yeah. ESTJ. I'm a big fat liar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ian is, is uh, Ian I, ESTJ. Uh, Ian Ian INTP. You want to explain this to people? I don't, don't know. know what I this can't stuff explain is? it to people. No, the caller can do, because there's a lot of people listening and don't know what you're talking about. It's well, smart it's, people what, you know, um, hor, uh, horoscopes is what it is. <laughs> is it, it sounds right. Is it? Um, well, anyways, is uh, Ian? Is he? You can is, call in and talk to Ian about his personality type. Uh, that would be better. <laughs> right. Anyways, he's, he's probably yes, yeah. But anyways, like yeah, ENTP, ENTJ. No offense, they're always um, like seventy percent of males. They're always super like libertarian, like um, super like radical freedom. They protectors of hmm. offending people and all this kind of a thing and bringing people together. Um, but anyways, my point is, is that when it comes to intelligence and money. Um, you're always going to have some people like different types, like ISTPs will always have very little money in their lifetime. ENTPs will always make a lot of money and also lose a lot of money. Um, there's just different types of people that get energy from different things in life, which cause their situations to be what they are. And that doesn't necessarily like intelligence thing, how smart you are, but it's just like the way that you process life, get energy from different things like investing, um, connecting with people, you know, that kind of a thing. It, right. People basically just, hand money to people like ENFPs and stuff like that but that's a huge part of it and it's it holds consistently true um if people across. want to investigate this a little bit you can I, I think that these are more interesting than say horoscopes for instance um they're they're more about you you can go take a Myers Briggs test online and uh, get your little rating and decide what it is and decide just how po- important that is. There's groups on Facebook. You can say, oh, yeah, all of us STPs of <laughs> ESTPs have gotten together, you know, right and that, that kind of thing. And if, if it's important to you, I think it can be important for like an evening or, or whatever. It can be in some entertainment. So it's about as fun as a horoscope. I think it's more fun than a horoscope. Because it's actually based a little more on the science yeah. side that, right. that stands well. All right, I didn't know that. That's those UVA guys. Man. T, is that what you wanted to address? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I went to Appreciate Radford, so I have to take a dig at UVA. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You guys and your uh, colleagues. That's right. We knew how to party. Yeah, no all. doubt. <laughs> you know, I do it every time. I just bear like just on a just on the fringe. Went to University of Florida. Yeah. Um, in the sense that I took some correspondence courses from some professors that were in <laughs> University of Florida. But I don't mind razzing those Florida State people. Nah, just, you, just you guys are a cool school. I used to go up there and play rugby against their yeah, team. But was it a girl school? Um, no, Radford was pretty much a girl's <laughs> school where I went. And that was that was by design. Josh calling in from uh, <laughs> like Jackson, Jackson, Mississippi. Josh, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how's it going? All's well. Hi. What's on your mind? Oh, man. I, okay, so intelligence, knowledge. I, I don't know, man. I'm just kind of... Okay, how do you know anything at all? I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm serious. Yeah. I mean, no, like that's a good point. Perception and sensation. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just an idea in our heads. I mean... Well, you, do lo- you do walk I mean, look both ways before you cross the street, right? Supposedly. Yeah, you think well, you look both ways across the street, yeah. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you're getting ethereal on us here, but I kind of understand his point is, you know, there's a lot of people that believe that what we see is just like the hologram world, or... Uh, the world is... You're experiencing your the world in your head. There's Berkeley, no doubt George about it. Berkeley. David Hume and George Berkeley. I just think them, them dudes are really fascinating. And intelligence, I mean, based on what? I don't know. It's just... A test, apparently. Can you go out in the woods and survive like a deer? Now that's intelligent. Well, it is if you'd have to survive in the Natural woods. Yeah. No doubt about it. <laughs> thanks for the call, Josh. Appreciate hey, it. You it's might have point. to soon. <laughs> yeah, thanks. People believe it. It's, it may very well be the case. I don't know. I'm not going to tell you one way or the other. Um, we don't know what ha- what the world's going to look like if the world's reserve currency crashes. I can't tell you that. But I can tell you this. There's a, a philosophy out there called objectivism. It is sort of surrounded with Ayn Rand, and some people like her and some people don't, and that doesn't really matter to me one way or the other. What I can tell you is is that, objectively, the world is as the world is, and you ought to operate that way, and life will probably be best. What is intelligence? 
I think that can be very difficult to say, um, you know, depending on what we're talking about as to whether or not somebody's intelligent. 855-450-3733. It's 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live. Our username is lrn.fm on Skype. 855-450-FREE. Now is the time to save on hardwood and more at Lumber Liquidator's end of summer clearance sale. We're making room for new fall inventory. That means it's your chance to get an incredible deal on solid pre-finished hardwood for just 99 cents. Wide plank, hand scraped oak for $1.99. Beautiful carbonized bamboo for $1.29. Plus, get 10 to 15% off Morningstar Bamboo, the number one selling brand of bamboo flooring. Top quality laminate and vinyl plank from 49 cents and 24 month special financing. Hurry, the end of summer clearance sale is going on now. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Before girls' night out, my eczema flared up. Ugh, I felt like canceling. But then I tried Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief. It's specially formulated for eczema and has 1% hydrocortisone, the strongest non-prescription itch medicine for fast, lasting itch relief. It quickly stopped the itch and soothed my red, dry, flaky skin. With Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief, I was ready for girls' night out, and it was the best one ever. Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief. Feel the heal. Use as directed. Okay, open your mouth and say, ah. Ah. When your child has a sore throat, you need to know when to get help. The doctor recommended Say Ah Sore Throat Exam is your solution. The scientifically designed oral retractor offers a clear view of the throat, relaxing the tongue and minimizing gag reflex. Compare with a medical grade chart, website, and app. Then you'll know just what to tell your doctor. A wellness plan in your hands in minutes. Go to SayAhNow.com. SayAhNow.com, the new mainstay for every family's first aid kit. The human body is more than 60% water. Your brain and muscles are 75% water. And your blood is 92% water. Water is vital to your body, and alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800-518-7615 or go to AlkaVision.com to find out more. That's ALKAVision.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Attention all men. Are you urinating more frequently? Do you wake up to urinate? Are you having a slower, weaker stream? Don't ignore the warning signs of your aging prostate. Get your free bottle of Super Beta Prostate. Super Beta Prostate is guaranteed to support a more complete emptying of your bladder, a fuller, stronger stream, and less waking at night to urinate. Super Beta Prostate is a product that I really like. I endorse it. I use it myself. I was very pleasantly surprised that Super Beta Prostate helped me fairly quickly. Super Beta Prostate is formulated with a natural plant enzyme called beta-cytosterol. It's so powerful, you'd have to take 100 salt palmetto pills to get the same sterols as just one Super Beta Prostate tablet. Don't ignore the warning signs of your aging prostate. Call now to get your free bottle of Super Beta Prostate. Call 1-800-853-1203. That's 1-800-853-1203. 800-853-1203. Healthy, organic, fresh fish, robust, mouth-watering vegetables, all from your home. It's called aquaponics. This brilliant, self-sustaining protein and veggie system is perfect for year-round growing. Know exactly where your food is coming from. Aquaponicsource.com is the one-stop shop for all your needs. Fish, fish food, plumbing, full systems, classes, and more. Learn to build your own system. Go to aquaponicsource.com for a free guide to aquaponics. That's aquaponicsource.com. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live. I'd give you the telephone numbers, but I don't think uh, I don't think you're going to get in. Yep. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to get everybody who's on the line, but uh, yeah. Anyway, our uh, it's Mark with you. 
And Taryn P. Lupo. I want you to check out our Facebook page at facebook.freetalklive.com. We get in lots of entertaining, entertaining discussions there, post uh, different types of things all the time, and you can get involved. It's facebook.freetalklive.com. Go ahead and like us there, and you'll be able to see our content. Come troll us. And there's that too. It's <laughs> are going to entertain the trolls, feed the trolls. It, we get we got them over at facebook.freetalklive.com. Let's go to Scott calling in from Indiana. Scott, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hi, Mark. Uh, just good to talk to you again. Um, I was going to say the uh, whole thing about intelligence. I remember seeing a thing years ago. A thing you may have probably heard of it called EQ, which is it stands for emotional quotient. Yeah, I've heard of EQ. Yeah. Show, it never really caught yeah, on, yeah. but it was it was big for a moment. Well, yeah, tell yeah. me. I don't remember well, that. About delayed gratification. Yeah, they did an exper- class the experiment. They put kids in a room. They put a marshmallow in front and say, okay, oh, yeah. we're going to leave the room for 10 minutes, and if you don't eat the marshmallow, you have a chance to get five marshmallows. And the kids who were able to sit there for the whole time and wait for the extra extra marshmallows, I guess that was kind of a crude measurement of EQ. But the, and basically what EQ amounts to is being able to, uh, uh, being what we used to call just discipline, having the ability to delay gratification. You know, you work toward a long-term goal. And I but think some I of it seems to be, so many, if it's not, if it's not um, socialized very early, it almost seems to be genetic. Like some people exactly, just have, a, it will almost, have it. What's that? Almost. But well, I think that explains why people who come here from Asia and, and East Africa, for instance, are so successful. I don't think that there's a preponderance of, of intelligence per se, but they've been socialized culturally to be able to look down the road and work really hard to get a long-term goal. And that's something a lot of America has lost in the cultural. Sense. I agree. I think a lot of that is cultural for sure, because you can transplant people from different countries, different races, put them in uh, around a bunch of positive people who are go-getters, and uh, they'll become positive and go-getters. You can definitely. Exactly. Yeah. If we could uh, create a country whose uh, attitude is based on delayed gratification, we probably would have a very successful country. Yeah. But the interesting thing is, is the you were talking about people that come from uh, other countries. Those countries aren't. Um, now, that doesn't mean that those countries are necessarily that way. Maybe it's people who are willing to pick up their lives and move for more prosperity, more freedom or more whatever. Maybe it's right. those people that are better at those things. In, immigrants have they're traditionally done well in yeah. America. Yeah, and that's an interesting yeah, st- study because when they followed up with these kids, they were much more likely to be uh, successful when they showed willpower at a young age. Yeah. It was, uh, it's, it was it, a significantly different. Indeed it is. Scott, thank you for the call. 855, whoops, I'm giving the telephone number, and uh, yeah. I don't know whether we'll make it. Let's go to William calling in from Indianapolis. William, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello. Uh Hi. Hi. What's on your mind? Sorry, you caught me off guard. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm sorry. I was just, just tuned into your show, and I heard the doctor who is, uh, he made the comment that uh, only about six months of his training was really relevant. Pretty uh, much. I I mean, kind of, I, I, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were still on I, there. I, yeah, I'm, I'm a co-host <laughs> tonight. Basically, what I'm trying to say is out of all the education I have, I only use about 5 to 10% of what I actually learned. The rest of that was just hoops to make me jump through them and eliminate competition. And um, and honestly, if I were in a real society that did not care about having a piece of paper, um, I could have learned what I needed to as an apprentice, following around another doctor for as a year or two. As doctors did at one back point. Back in the day. <laughs> this is all just busy work fluff. And uh, it's basically just eliminate people that don't have... Uh, the ability to take that kind of crud. You know, that's, I, I really share that viewpoint. I actually, um, what made me think of this was I, I used to work for my grandpa for about five years. He ran a boat shop, um, and I I came down there to work with him. I I never worked on boats before. I didn't know if I was mechanically inclined or not, you know. Um, yeah. But what he taught me was the problem solving, how to diagnose, um, and from there, basically, like you said, I just had research materials. I had the Internet. I had repair books. And just over the course of that, finding the problem and then looking up how to repair or do anything else, I actually ended up learning a great deal that way. Yeah, and mechanics and doctors it, are basically the same, man. I mean, yeah. you just learn how to diagnose, and uh, then it's all just dealing with different models coming in. 
Now, apprenticeships have their uh, disadvantages too, but I feel yeah, like if you get a bad person, but right. Well, uh, but not everybody's made to, itself. Not everybody's made to be a teacher, and like me, for instance, if you if you're going to get your uh, apprenticeship from in radio from yeah. me, you better be a good learner, <laughs> and, and you know you better be able to come along and uh, get you know pick things up, yep. ask the right questions, do these kind of things. Because I I got a short temper, you know. I just well, but these I, I, everything's changed these days. You really could learn how to be a doctor on the internet for free indeed you could learn everything you can watch operations if you want on on the internet completely for free now obviously there's there's something to be said for practicing on labs and stuff but you could probably do that you could probably go buy some beef and meat and just like you know what they did when they started out in school and the only thing you're really missing is real live patients, which well, comes on experience. You can speak of this as a doctor. I would say that uh, basically there are only a few degrees, a few uh, job areas that you're going to need a degree for um, because you're not going to be able to practice as a doctor uh, if you learn on the Internet. Um, so um, Not necessarily. What I'm trying to say is you could get good at one thing on the Internet and just tell people, I'm new at this. You know what? I'm an apprentice. Whatever. Go apprentice with someone after you've learned. You don't need to go to school to learn anatomy. You know, you can learn all that. You yeah, can, but I'm saying uh, that if you, you try you, to practice... To um, practice, yeah, because the law's in place. Right. But you you take us back, go to an Amish community, like this, you know, like Are our there Amish doctors? <laughs> yeah, what they do is they have their own doctors, they have their own setup, and they don't play by any of these rules, man. They, uh, they're completely... I'll talk about that another night. They have a whole different uh, pastoral medical association that allows doctors to work without licensing. William? Well, that's... Uh, I, if... Um... I'd say too, as as what I basically was mentor or an apprentice, whatever. I could, I can also say that having a uh, mentor is a huge thing too. Yeah. I was lucky enough to work with two different, um, I act master techs, um, which is, um, you know, as, as in that field, that's as high as you can get. And right. Master sounds some good. Some of the things they were able. To, yeah, I mean they were. <laughs> I mean some of the things they did were just amazing. Like they could listen to a motor run and diagnose it that way. You know. Um, well, William, I do appreciate the call. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, sir. Eight eight five five four five zero three seven three three. You know, I think about um, you know when when you're talking about this idea of apprenticeship and people learning in different ways. Essentially you can learn all the information you need to learn on the internet. But the world's changed. I mean, the internet wasn't that zippy, say, in 1998. True. Um, it's changed a lot now. It's I'm changed saying very it's, it's quickly. It's a whole different ballgame now. And you, when you look at, like, Khan Academy and these kind of things, they only came out very recently. Now, with my son, he's homeschooled. We don't even really have a particular curriculum. Essentially, when he asks a question, we try to go find the answer as quick as we can. And he asks a lot of questions, so <laughs> sometimes you're, you know, you're, you're you're chasing down things. He gets frustrated because he can't. He's seven years old and he can't type everything as quickly as he'd like to type it. He can't spell everything he'd like yeah, to be able to spell. So we're so we work on those things. But I'm excited because I think uh, I think it's a a way of hope. It eliminates so many barriers. You're no longer um, if you want the knowledge and you have the desire, you can learn anything you want if you can just get to the internet. It's crazy what's on there. You can take complete classes that are up there for free uh, by the right. best universities on the planet. MIT has its whole uh, you know, coursework or whatever on yeah. the internet. And that just goes to show that if you go to the class, all you're paying for, if you go to MIT, all you're paying for at this point is the piece of paper. That's because it. You, and I'm you hoping can get that the, the, the coursework online. And and I think in the future that will change. This piece of paper is becoming less and less and less important. My and uh, I'm hopefully, uh, you know, this archaic way we do education will completely change. My uncle, um, he, I, I think that he was involved in the crew that created the the light, uh, the the traffic lights changing. You know that little pressure oh, okay. plate that underneath there. Um, he has. He said that some of his best people were from ITT. You know, they learned online. They had uh, correspondence courses because they were driven. And so, you know, there you go. There's a one of a great engineer. I assume if he was, uh, you know, invented something important that we use every day in our lives, um, he's saying that uh, that online correspondence uh, guys were important to 
his business. And I really um, have a beef with people that think if you don't go to an Ivy League school or some expensive school that you don't you have an inferior education. That's just networking. And that's just well, you know, well, you know, so the, it is an inferior ridiculous. because you can't say it within the first five minutes of meeting somebody, right? You can't yeah. you can't say the word Harvard or Yale or Princeton or Cornell right. or whatever. I mean, it, it is. makes people feel good if you have a degree from it. It does make me feel good. I had but, an eye doctor who right. had a, who went to both Harvard and Cornell, and you know what? I feel like he must have been good. But you know, you can take. He's a, not the one who solved my eye problem. You can take though. a one credit class on the line and say, "I did my postgraduate work at Harvard," and Funny. it's accurate. Eight five. <laughs> I'm giving out the number. Check us out at Free Talk Live, freetalklive.com, yeah. facebook.freetalklive.com. It's been Mark with you and Taryn Lupo at taryn.lupo.com. Drive safe. BlakeDevelopment.net is a global leader in website creation, app development, and online marketing, catering to businesses of all sizes. There's really no job too big or too small for BlakeDevelopment.net. Do you have an idea for a killer app, but you don't know how to code it? Are you missing out on online sales? Or maybe your business needs help with social media? Websites start at just 200 bucks, and they're offering three years of free domain registry. Yes, they take Bitcoin. 844-SITE-123. BlakeDevelopment.net, 844-SITE-123. If you expect secure, privacy-oriented services and real human support from your web hosting provider, choose Virtual Space International. From domain names and SSL certificates to offshore banking accounts, Virtual Space International has been the all-in-one multi-language solution for over 25 years. And satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. We even accept Bitcoin. Find out how to get 50% off for life at savetimehosting.com. This is a healthcare alert from the Pain Relief Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee, back, shoulder, or ankle pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You don't have to suffer any longer. You can immediately qualify for a pain relieving brace at little or no cost to you by calling our 24 7 pain relief hotline at 866 389 0620. Delivery is free and all paperwork is handled for you. If you are on Medicare and have knee, back, shoulder, or ankle pain, don't wait. You can qualify to immediately receive a pain relieving brace at little or no cost by calling our 24 7 pain hotline now at 866 389 0620. Our representatives are standing by 24 7 to take your call and rush you your pain relieving brace at little or no cost to you. Shipping is free and all paperwork is handled for you. Just call 866 389 0620. That's 866 389 0620. Again, 866 389 0620. You're listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Brought to you by the Ad Council and Grads of Life. News this hour from townhall.com. I'm Ron DeRostra. At the Michigan Republican Leadership Conference this afternoon, GOP presidential hopeful Carly Fiorina criticized the progressive candidates for president. All of us have the capacity to live a life of dignity and purpose and meaning, and I know our values and our principles lift everyone up. You see, progressives don't believe this. The arena warned the country's in jeopardy under Democratic leadership. Meanwhile, at the Iowa Faith and Freedom Coalition, Rick Santorum says Iowa voters should support him because he's now a Washington outsider with the knowledge of an insider. This is your chance to nominate someone who knows how to get things done, who knows the shark tank, where the sharks are. At the Democratic Party convention in New Hampshire, former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley says he's not the only progressive candidate that voters will see. But I am the only candidate for president with 15 years of executive experience as a big city mayor and as a governor actually turning those progressive values into actions. A 21-year-old man arrested yesterday in connection with the recent shootings near Long Interstate 10 in Phoenix made an appearance in court today. Leslie Allen Merritt, Jr. And what's your date of birth? 6 20 Merritt told Judge Lisa Roberts that a gun, police say, ties Merritt to the shootings, was in a pawn shop for the last two months, and he never had access to a weapon. Roberts set a cash bond of a million dollars for Merritt. A wild and enthusiastic crowd greeted Pope Francis at the airport in Havana.